this damn thing. <gasps> gentlemen my hair is a bit of a mess and we're back in rogue trader uh we're gonna go see what's going on in the mechanicus and then some uh <laughs> happy holidays for those who have holidays and for those who don't well become american what's wrong with you like like come on if you don't want to be american i fully understand uh <laughs> it, it's 2024 everyone has to be american <laughs> democracy oh. for democracy oh. <laughs> and i will also say it's really funny that i ended up unmuting you just in the perfect timing so just as my intro ended you started going through and i'm just like all right it looks <laughs> like you do that voice uh and it looks like i can give people con we're in space so there's not technically anyone to give control to <clears throat> yep um i can just fuck about that's about it okay so we have all the people that we want okay good So, funny enough, I was playing this for just a bit. Got on an encounter where it was like three people who had um, 200, like 250 health each. Uh, still haven't finished the encounter, but man, first person that had 250, dead. The other person that um, had 250 <laughs> has just started walking up and is already like, it's totally effed up. <laughs> nice. Hasn't even gotten in range. Just hit, hit, zero attacks, and it's like, haha. Rolls. I Everyone think I already saw characters. Yeah. Yep, I like that. Uh, victory awaits. You know what's funny? Slow mode's still on. Huh? Oh, your we shield didn't deactivate that. Well, you have Abelard, so you probably can move this athletics thing better than I can. No, it says slow mode should be off. Twenty, and then. You just enabled slow mode, it I just know, said. I know, I just enabled it. I'm going to see if I do this and then turn it off, if that actually turns it off. I mean, it wasn't showing it slow mode for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we are in the Mechanicum Temple. Does yeah, I'm, I'm standing here next to a um, thing for you to um, tip over with Abelard. Mr. Athletics. Uh, you're standing next to a thing. Blessed be the Where road the are you? we take. Oh. I have a 90% chance with Abelard, I think. Nothing's impossible for this old I did it. Yay, frag grenades and, and a med kit. I would, um, I would hope also, that that was barely a challenge compared to naval service. Also, quick question. Do we think that this is going too easy? By the way, we have a plasma pistol for um, Pascal still in the inventory. That's all you, small. Um, because we can always turn up the difficulty. I'm fine with it where it's at right now. Okay. Because right now we're going in on normal. Um, yep. What deeds await us? There's all kinds of things that we can poke around. Hey, what's your awareness chance on this corpse over here? Oh, over there? I think 100, yeah. so. Excellence matters. And what about this lore Imperium rubble over here? Oh, is it 95? Let me double check. That's better than what I got. I only got 80. Oh, oh, you're t I thought I was, uh, you're talking about the rubble. I was looking at a pillar, but I'll come over there. You're talking about the rubble. It's about time. 95, yep. Huh. Yep, multi-laser turret. You know, like we could tell it was that. The type so... that is mounted on landing four shuttles. Carry the Secret Emperor's Labs has made an ultramarine chair. <laughs> I kind of want it. 
I want it really bad. <laughs> Lay people unworthy of entering the hollowed grounds. Don't know what this is. It's just a turbine. I won't In fact, it, structurally speaking, this looks like an exhaust vent. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it probably is just an exhaust vent, but you know, people are just like, it's Mechanicus. Ooh. It would look like it, it would look entirely Just like a normal exhaust vent if it weren't for the seals and the extra architecture that's been built around it. Yep. Going up these stairs. But yeah, as you were I saying about the space the marine chair. I really want it. I really want that chair. I prefer one of the blood angels, if not Fulgrim, where I'd basically just be sitting in Fulgrim's lap. I realized something. Fulgrim's the bastard who put um, Gilliman in his stasis chamber. Yeah. I did not know that, though. I don't... See, I'm not super lore and, uh, knowledgeable. I just know some things. I... I love things with really deep lore. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what it is. It's just deep lore in a world that does not exist and will never have any real world like implications. It's just so much fun. <laughs> Key part that it will not I ever exist what, because we do not want this. Tell me. <laughs> that is my knowledge of lore is I learn fun facts through what people tell me and through the questions I ask. <laughs> Almost like how I get knowledge at work by asking people, "What the fuck does this mean?" <laughs> oh my god! And then when you have the managers who tell you, "Why aren't you using your resources? You should not have. You shouldn't come to me first. Oh, see, the thing is, I already know my resources. The manager doesn't have a no shit. <laughs> I know not oh to ask god. them anything. <laughs> Wells Fargo is great because you'd get managers who are like, you should be using your resources. Meanwhile, Guide the resources are like things that don't work. And oh. everyone knows it. Nothing at Wells Fargo not works. Not uh, for me, it's more of they still have to, I still have the funness of like the manager not knowing how to do things. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> like the moment where it's literally, we I had this corpses. software get updated that caused some problems that was just hilarious. <laughs> Where it's like everyone in the room knew what to do. The manager just like, ah! <laughs> Simple of the key appeared to connect in two different lines. Um, Another corpse. I see dead guys over there, so I feel like the whichever direction we go, we're about to fight something. Well, why not this dead guy right here? He's right in front of a door. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dead man in front of a door. Satisfied with that answer, I will repeat my question again. The last Electro Priest you killed, where did you find him? Burn in the fire of dawn, servant of the corpse emperor! And another one meets the limit of his utility. Oh. The last of them. I read Gaunt's Ghost recently, and there's a scene where it shows exactly what a psyker does when they're interrogating you, particularly an Inquisition psyker. Ah, uh, it is so much worse than you think. I mean, have you? There's <laughs> it's like, imagine, imagine Red. what you think it is. I guarantee it's worse. <laughs> Red. The reason why I'm saying it's like what I'm thinking of is the fact that there's a um, show on Warhammer Plus. That's a, a basically a film noir of an interrogator, which is what Heinrichs is, who's part psyker, and it's his like film noir of that. Oh, and one I of the need. one of the favorite my, one of the lines at one point at that where he's just like, "All right, I know I'm like in a really shitty situation." And he's just like, "I," he's just like, "This is really bad. I'm gonna just try this. You know, it you know, can it really get worse?" Rule number one: It can always be worse. Mm-hmm. I need. I think I need to get Warhammer Plus. I don't want to though, because I don't like all the subscription crap. See, the thing is, I have it because I also get a free model from it. Once oh, a that's substantially useful. However, I have a 3D printer. And well, that's the thing. Is I like I get free, like a free unique model from it. I have the um, some of them, and it's like, oh, I, I kind of like it. And there's just some other little things. It's like. It does have its uses if you're really into Warhammer, but if you're doing it purely for the, just to watch stuffs, it starts to lose its value. Yeah. 
Um, interrogator Von Kallax, I presume. Yes. <clears throat> well, since you know who I am and are in no hurry to kill me, I infer that you serve the Emperor, not his enemies. Allow me to introduce myself. Interrogator Heinrichs van Kellox of the Imperial Inquisition's esteemed Ordo Xenos. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? It's you. Uh, you should talk to him, Small, because I think you'll actually really like his character. Oh, he, okay. I, I actually he, really like this character a lot. What's, Wait, can I like? It, can I talk to the? Can I actually talk to the by myself or like? I think so. When we're on the ship. No, I don't. Yeah. No, when we're on the ship, you, it's just you controlling. Oh, it's right. just me. Yeah, then it's I'll just the rogue it. trader. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I was gonna it, say it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem the same as um. I, I, I was gonna say I was like, wait, this doesn't say the same as Baldur's Gate, where you could just talk to them by yourself. Yeah, no, it's it's the rogue trader talks. So. Hopefully, in their next game, they'll figure that out. Uh, this, what sucks for Owlcat is no one could have predicted how big Baldur's Gate was gonna be on release. Well, people could have. The writing was kind of on the wall, but. Larian went above and beyond. Rogue Trader came out around the same time as Baldur's. I felt so bad for them. I'm like, like there was no advertisement. There was no like big stuff. And I'm like, huh, I wonder why. And I was like, ah. Um, Red, can you do me a little favor on Discord? Can you raise your volume a little bit? I don't know how it is on the stream, but I know I'm, oh, for oh. Discord, I just need a bit more. Like you're just slow. How's like, this? That's really good. Okay. I messed with my sliders on my mixer. Okay, there, that's perfect. Von Valencius. To the best of my knowledge, that dynasty is headed by the esteemed Theodora von Valencius. Has there been a change of circumstances? I also say, um, for Heinrichs, um, for female character um, rogue traders, he's romanceable. Yup. And it Heinrich is. Does not gay. Is <laughs> and it's oh, actually. My condolences. I will say, I also kind of like the the, what you can do with his romancing. It's so much more wholesome. Is none other than yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then. Well, Small, you own this game, so now you can just play this uh, at your own side. leisure. Yep. Uh, I'm here to collect you. I am under orders from the Lord Inquisitor to offer any assistance you may require. Then the timing of our meeting is fortuitous. I am requisitioning you and your retinue for my task. Okay. Turn up the game volume. Requisitioning? <laughs> Young man, your choice of words is unseemly to the point of insult. You're addressing a rogue trader. Tell us who, <laughs> tell him who we are. I don't imagine you'll be any happier if I say taking into inquisitorial custody. <laughs> like he's just like, I I'm being like like very political about my word. Eh? The rebellion prevented me from fulfilling. The governor is convinced that malcontent from among the rabble <laughs> investigators, but I immediately suspected a more sinister presence at the root of the mutiny. My visit to the monastery and a few unhurried. You'd be amazed at how so. Confirmed. I'm reading the first uh, Ultramarine book, and it's really cool because it gives you a, it gives you a different perspective into things. Um, because the Ultramarines Someone are very much by the. the name of Aurora is leading the rebellion. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna let him talk. Data indicates <laughs> that the head of the cultists is here right now in the sanctum of the ancient reactor. Given the prophecy of the final dawn and the especial efforts made by the enemies of humanity to seize the monastery, their goal is to gain access to the holy power source's control circuit and trigger a process that, once started, cannot be stopped. In other words, to detonate the reactor, thus being themselves the cause of their much-touted final dawn. Blasphemous insanity. He has recognized me as a fellow psyker. Oh, that's, uh, I really like how it's just, the, it's that difference. <laughs> um, let's see. Da, da, da. I can help you with Aurora. Let's join forces. Thank you. Regrettably, the governor's people showed themselves to be unprepared for the perils. They're of this terribly case. incompetent. <sighs> and extracting blade shards from a person's stomach is beyond my powers. I hope he that a rogue trader's retinue will prove more capable too. than a group of nice. soldiers fresh off the base. There was 
I was listening to Jack Patillo's stream yesterday, and he was playing uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. I instantly recognized one of the voice actresses because she has a very particular voice. And here's what I'll say: I thought she was hamming up her voice for the thing that I recognize her from. She's an Argonian NPC in Skyrim, <laughs> but that's just her voice, apparently. Um. <laughs> Which, which to each their own. It's a good. It works for her characters. Um, but it's it's just I, I instantaneously. I'm like, wait, I know who this is. <laughs> now we have a tough. We have a tough choice. Who do we want to send back? It often be. <laughs> um, clearly, Ar we, clearly, we can't send Small back. Argenta. Yeah. And I'll give you Heinrich. Yep. Because we it, have plenty it, of range between it, the rest of us. It just opted V automatically. Like, okay, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I see and... that I'm not needed. And then I'll do some Damn. leveling up with Henrik. Let's move. So uh, while you're leveling up, I started listening to the first. Also, look at the fucking fat ass candles over there. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Like, that's like a person sized <laughs> candle. I don't, I don't envy the fucker who had to carry that damn thing. Um, so listening to the first, uh, ultramarine book, I was trying very hard not to call them blueberries. Um, <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> I might as well. They, we know what they're about, but it's fun because it gives you, it gives you, pers so ultramarines are, are kind of the closest to good guys, in my opinion. Well, I, Excluding salamanders, but salamanders commit war crimes as a side hustle. Uh, you know, it's just, I guess you could say more like uh, morally gray characters. They're, they're like a they're lighter not, shade of gray. They're not good, but they're not evil because, um, so the thing about Rabude Gilliman, he's the tax guy, he's the numbers guy. He's also realized that the way to have the most efficient performance is to have happy people because happy people work better than sad people um so like a lot of his stuff is is all about you know making people as happy as possible with the least amount of resources and he's really good at it but it was covering um the politics of a planet because a planet is kind of in rebellion right now and like it goes through all the nuances and in, in, in one of the fun things about 40k and, and one of the things that i like about it you can have a scale of how grim dark it gets because if it was as grim dark as some people tout it to be it wouldn't work because here's the problem with people yeah it's the imperium but like if everyone rebels the imperium just has no people because i, I guarantee you people would just start rebelling if, if life was just dog shit on all boards but it was like talk it gave you perspective from like a peasant like an actual peasant and he was talking about like kind of his life of course uh the sad thing is they talked about this peasant and then everyone the peasant knew and loved died and then the peasant died um because you know 40k but it's it's so much fun because it's like they do actually have not always horrible lives it's like yeah there's a lot of horrible shit in the imperium but not everything is bad and that's kind of one of my favorite things about about the universe. Um, it's always neat. Really, the iconoclast is kind of my favorite alignment because it, it, it's all about chasing the hope that there will be a better tomorrow. There's a thing in here I want to touch, but it, it's going to pull us into stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fine, I'm waiting. I'm letting you talk. There we go. Did you give Pascal his plasma pistol? Yes, you did. I can see it on him. I Doubt. love the fact that you actually... Oh, wait, on. Doubt. Computer. Oh, I need to see what's on um, Pinex. I just realized for inventory. Do you want me to try the computer? What's your logic percentage? I have well, 90. How do I see that? If you click if you click the thing, it'll show you the thing to interact with it. I, I can't... Click I can the finger. Just... Click the finger. You got to diddle. Uh, it says 80 for me. Okay, so I and have 90. Pascal, it says 100. Oh, well, just let Pascal do it. Here you 
do, 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 okay, well, good to know you can withstand more than high blood pressure, which I cannot. I got a charged staff, which gives me lightning, which... Um, so, so Cassia, I was looking up the voices. Um, curious to see if they'd been in anything else. Yeah. Uh, remember the Gwink Queen in the, in the pilot episode of Digital Circus? Yeah. Was that, that Cassia? Was yeah. That's awesome. She's also Uzi in Murder Drones. Um, I think she's also been the halfling from Kingmaker and also the girl I hate from Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, I don't see that, but I do, because I haven't looked up, I haven't looked very far, but I also did see that she was a, the original voice of, this original singing voice of Charlie Morningstar. Huh, neat. Her husband Hotel. Uh, is Heinrich Saul set to go? Um... Yes, I think that's good enough. She was also the... Totally they also had her on Death Battle as Jinx. Neat. And Tracer. Uh, do we want to go this way or do we want to double back the... Oh, there's the lightning fucking bullshit over here. We're mm -hmm. not going this way. Fuck that. Wait, you don't want to go get the plasma pistol that's over there? I do, but I don't want to get tased. I want to go the other way around. This is actually the way to go because it um, cycles um, from left to right. So once you see it finishes going here, it, then it goes over to the right. It's Should easier we to go sin... this way than the other way. Here's the one thing. It's a combat. It is a combat. Um, how do we want to? How do you want to stack up for this? We have no time to. Oh, Heinrichs, but don't go out there. Okay. Um, also, just a reminder, if you you can change your formation so that way your yep. guys don't just go nuts. It's based off of the distance. I'm going this way because I'm fine with my character getting shot at the beginning. Okay. Uh, where's the shocky? So it's all the way down there. So it's gonna it's... the next turn. It's gonna hit right here on the um on the stage in front of us. Yeah. So. Uh, where am I? Just so stay where I am. Well, oh, you've yeah. been ambushed. Yeah, you've been ambushed. All right, Heinrichs. Okay, that's a good spot to go to. Actually. Uh, the voice of Cassio is also the voice of uh, Saber Sparks. Um, the diff you know when Saber Spark does the Oh, the Rule 33 person. Saber Spark? Yeah. Really, dude? You parried the shit? <laughs> yeah, fuck Weak. You. You can do it, Hyrix. Chaos guides me. Show them how fancy you are. <laughs> he dodged the bullet, literally. Oh yeah, he's a he's a dodge machine. Like I have him as a dodge machine. That's what I do with him. Let's see how they respond to this. Okay, don't how I can't put. Oh, thanks. I'll just do that for now. All too easy. <coughs> well, that guy's now praying in front of Heinrichs. <laughs> but that guy's a little bit better again. Just imagine, like, Ooh. a Catholic, like, just a Dude, Catholic. <laughs> I have range across this thing. I already took out one of the snipers for us. <laughs> nice. Um, just imagine a Catholic exorcist comes into, like, a scuzzy bar. <laughs> And like they're trying to, you know, get their job done, and then some dude just crouches down, just starts screaming, "Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan!" Just the heads up that around here um, is going to turn into you don't want to end your turn in, in this um, area, unless you want to be tasered. And is this aren't the stairs safe? Say stairs are safe. Stairs are safe. Yes, I'm just giving you the heads up for like other characters. Pascal's perfectly fine. It's like I think the torched spots on the ground itself is where you don't want to stand. You should save the joint analysis for when things have more stacks of exploit, by the way. I just thought maybe it would be helpful <laughs> Just Heinrich's dodging some more. No, it it's just not a turn one thing. I serve okay. the ruinous power. <laughs> just Heinrich's dodge, dodge, dodge. Ah! Perry. <laughs> Hey! Wow, oh. I did not roll good on initiative. Nah. 
It's an ambush too, so you get um, probably penalties from that too. My, my favorite thing too is um, that once you get like the defensive stance for Abelard, every time you can make it so that every time he parries, he ought um, he, he like, slaps someone. He slaps it. someone. Here's the other thing you can make him do. Um, I have it where he his um, abilities are um, like um. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I love the ragdolls in this. Yeah. So, um, the one of the things I got him on um, his current role, like one of the things he could do with Abelard now, is there's an ability that makes it so that way every time he parries, it subtracts one AP from his abilities. So it turns da um, his charge into one action point. I can be. And it turns uh, his endure uh, into I can be up free. here, right? Yes. Right there is fine. I'm pretty positive it's fine. I am too, so. All right, let's see what havoc I can cause over here. These people are just uh, praying in front of Heinrichs. They're like, oh fuck, Heinrichs. <laughs> Pray to my God. <laughs> there we go. I'm probably gonna swap over to that so that way I can keep blasting things. No, actually I'm not. That sounds like a bad idea for me. Out of my way. <laughs> so many people there. Oh, Heinrich hey, gets to go before they get to do Slap anything. Slap them in the pee pee. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Never mind, Abrod. Go give Heinrich a back rub. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not in the shock zone. Free needle shot. Boop. Yes. <laughs> hey, oh, no. Believe me, you're going to miss with that a lot. Uh, shit. That's just going to blast Heinrichs, huh? Yeah, that's why I give him a regular pistol more often than that shotgun pistol because it just shoots his allies. Heinrichs will dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Heinrichs will dodge. <laughs> Dies. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Heinrich's like, I understood the objective. <laughs> yeah, good time to do that. Oh, actually, I can just go over here and then yep. whack them both in the peepus. Yep. Oh, the sniper is on praying. That's a bad choice for him. See if you can get this fucker. He's a sniper. Uh, I don't think I have... The movement? I have the movement. I can get behind him, but I can't do anything about it. I mean, just get behind him. He's ha He just has a gun. So that means if he wants to do anything, he has to move. And then you just go, ha-ha, tax of opportunity. Ha-ha, <laughs> bitch. And then Heinrich is just like, huh, well... The Seneschal just told me that I should dodge. I did dodge, and now everyone's dead. And then that guy's dead. Oh, let's see. Can I give that to you? Nope. You're too far. Well, he, he, he can now shoot, but he could just look like a long dude, but I can't see anything. Here, let me just... Yeah, he, he's just there. So, well, Abelard dodge. Well, Abelard's a beef tank, so he should be fine. Didn't penetrate, so uh, over penetrate, so that's good. I missed Abelard with with a high high roll. It was a very good chance to hit him. See now. So now there's a taser field that we can't pass. So basically, well, just get comfortable. I know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's now just Abelard has one dude with it. <laughs> There's one dude left. He just, I can't see him, so that's why I can't even just snipe him. I can't see him eating. Yeah, yep. you can just end your turn. Yeah. Okay. I was like, could I do anything remotely? No, no, that, it's literally Abelard's the only one who could do anything to this dude now. Fuck you both, Abelard. 
Ablord! Good, and then the next whack should probably finish him. All right, be careful on moving at this point. I think I'll just level up first. None shall stand okay. in my that's, way. That's a fair thing to do. I'll I don't want everyone picked. I just want... I just want Baron Rabude. Follow my lead. And then we, um, Abelard could probably athletics this. Oh, uh, you got got a thing for me in athletics? Yeah, it's in the middle. The okay. middle one. Arr, the arr, 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 arr. I was just close enough to get tased. Hold on, also I gotta fix my formation because something's gone fucky here. You could just also unlock, uh, on Link, so you could just send Abelard only. Yeah, I was trying to unlink. Um, I didn't want to do it. Oh, weird. I mean, or I could just do the athletics myself. It's 95 for me. Oh, yeah. I could definitely athletics. There we go. Oh, oh, we're all over here. Yep, it puts everyone. That's what happens. Okay, with this. And um, that's a logic, so Pascal on that one. Give me a moment. Yep, no, I understand. I, was, I at least put I you was, in a safe spot. You can <laughs> you're in a safe area right now. I'm, I'm in the midst of leveling up. It didn't reset me or anything. I was just like, I'm trying. It's always hard trying to choose the common uh, talent part. Fascinating stratagem. <laughs> uh, Pascal needs to be aware. Uh, there's a, a logic's right in front of us. Oh, okay. It's like literally right in front of there us. So. Yeah. And then I'll let there people do more uh, updating, uh, uh, leveling up. Do I detect doubt in your voice? Ack. <clears throat> so I have options. Yeah. Um, I can either give myself another kind of uh psyker power. I can give myself orchestrate flame, which I don't think is that good actually, because I all it does is it makes it so the target this. doesn't stop burning and no longer makes. Well, I guess that'd be good for higher health things. You can also increase your psi right now. Yeah, but this is I, I, that's that's next. This is my um, ability. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take that because that could be actually really good. Okay, now we're gonna. Although. There we go. I'm I've leveled up Pascal, ready. so I'm I'm set with my level ups. I'm satisfied. Your age will not oh, Pascal, be if only you were not celibate for the Omnissiah. In red, no more running into electricity, okay? Uh, I guess. Your wounds have been healed. Just stop um, running into electricity. Um, where's Psy level two? Um, that is. Uh, let's see here. Um, since I did, I did that for. Um, is it Psyker Minoris now? I think that's what it's called. Since I got, um, I did that for. Each level of Psy rating, yeah, I think this yep. is the thing. Yep, yeah, because that's the one I just did to um, Heinrich. So Heinrich is a Psy level one now. A blood. Because um, Heinrich's is four sword. If I ever use the force power of it, it's two times his psychic rating plus his willpower damage added to the damage. 
Nice. So it's just like, okay, just every time I do that, it's like it's literally a multiple of two. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can just increase it by a lot. Ours are leveled up. You're up. Next yep. time you're leveled up. Nah, I see that now. Do, 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 do. Really, I guess I'll just do this one. I never really liked choosing that one. Oh, hey. Oh, cool. So I'm in this stage again where I'm just kind of... Does Biomancy give you better, uh, like, automatic better ballistic and weapon skills, or no? No, it increases your, like, um, for Heinrichs, he's Biomancy, it increases, like, strength and toughness and stuff like that. Give him some of that since the team can have some of that when he's around. All right. The Inquisition taught me many oh, things. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, I don't think we did the thing. Yeah, we did. Did we? I don't do think we did. Inquisitorial approval. Heinrichs, why did you do that? I didn't realize. Small, did you do the, you yeah, did the I thing? Did the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, there's a reason I did it. It's about to come by. Why is fucking Ablard not going in his right... I know. I, I realized my character wasn't going the right position in my thing, and I was just like, why the fuck is there? Oops. I paused accidentally. I'm going to let it pass, and then I'm going to go. Yep. I'm just collecting items. My characters are just moving in really weird ways. All right. Yeah, Ablard's like... Fucking ten miles away from everyone else. Ebelard, you have Ebelard. to come here so you can tell us who we are. Tell them who we are. Um, there's a tech use for the skin. What is it, rogue trait? We shall prevail. For the what? The goods over here in the corner. Victory awaits. I'm standing up. There you go, Pesca. All right. There we go. Cool. I got it. Let's see here. I think there's some grenades. Let's. See, is there some? I just realized I don't have Argenta taking grenades in the. Oh, wow, um, Heinrich has some grenades. Sure, let's give him some grenades some more. Make him the grenade user if he wants to be grenade user. Seems he's elected himself to be grenade user. Yeah, I mean he's the Melta user when we get Melta. Plenty of corpses. Sounds like evil guys talking. Yeah, there's evil guys. Um, yep. Yeah. This is the main area. Mm -hmm. There's no me being able to snipe them either. Yeah, we just gotta walk in. Yep, because a decision has to be made here. Oh. <gasps> Fuck, okay. A crowd of cultists have surrounded a tech priest, crucified upon a mechanism. A rhythmic whisper repeated by a hundred voices blends into some blasphemous enchantment. Powerful discharges of the motive force run through the machine, causing the unfortunate prisoner's body to convulse brutally and forcing woeful cries of pain from his lips. Uh, in the clenched claws of stagnation, in the shackles of iteration zero, under the iron wing, let the cycle be discontinued. I am registering a severe violation of purity protocol. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> the blessed Armnat. Uh, has been captured by heretics and is being tortured. I'm not going to get his name right. Not, Are you I sure don't he's think that's a nat. Nat. I don't think that's a name. I think Never that's a title. Uh, confirmed. I do not observe his face, but I recognize his words. Let the cycle is the blessed Omnat's motto. Omnat. <laughs> uh, the heretics are everywhere. Uh, we must save him without risking his life. We can disguise ourselves.
discharges have charred the cultist corpses. Uh, it's the clothes of the arch enemy. Uh, da -da -da -da. If it helps save a worthy man. Oh, wait. Heretical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have heretical. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, you're doing the iconoclast on this one. Yeah, this Baron Rabude is very iconoclast. Right, I did the dogmatic on this one. And now we all look cool as fuck. The heretic's garb clings to your skin like a greedy leech, tingling in foul fever spread over your body as though these tatters have imbibed the vile contents of their former wearer's soul. Ah, oh, so he did get corruption. I serve get the off. golden throne. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a big old command throne. I think that could be fun. Uh, what ails you? So it looks like we have a command throne. We can just. I'm wondering just... if it's position people. I like that Pascal just looks like Pascal. Um, I kind of like the command throne. What do we think? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm ready for not. Uh, things are ready if we need to fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna absolutely need to fight. Cultist Gunner, a grim-looking heretic, walks up to you, resolutely blocking your path. As he studies your disguise uh, with suspicion, you note that his left eye has two conjoined irises, while his right eye has four. Oh. I don't know you. Who are you, and why haven't I met you before? Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> perhaps the master has blinded your eyes to trifles that you may not behold what is true. May our master blind you too, brother. Fuck you. You, you fucking. Is not yet ready for the power unit litany. Oh, I think we got to do this back ah. thing first. We should deal with this. What back thing? This distribution servitor. Oh, okay. Unless, are there other things in here? See, the thing is, I've never done this part of the way you're doing it. <laughs> A heavy crown of golden neural augments rests upon the servitor's head. The crown is bent and broken from youthless gun butt blows. The pale body is covered <laughs> in blasphemous inscription. I identify this acolyte as a distrib distribution servitor. I am registering upon it traces of sacrilegious violation. <laughs> that kind of looked like the butt of a head of a gun. <laughs> Let this machine spirit sleep that it may awaken again. <laughs> turn it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Power cycle for the win. <laughs> just, whisper, just whisper, let the machine spirit sleep as you have pressed the power button on my computer. <laughs> let the machine spirit sleep. All of our uh, um, streams Fuck, just crash. Still not ready. Um, what do I gotta do? Uh, what about we have uh, no this guy? We gotta. He looks like one of them. No, wait, maybe he's the door. Um. We gotta utter a litany of something. Hmm. Maybe if I walk up here. Fascinating stratagem. Can I talk to these guys? Should I talk to these guys? There's safety system. This is a safety okay, system control you. altar. Oh, wow, that sounds like something we could fuck with. It's something you're probably supposed to fuck with. Uh, uh, forgive us, honored machine spirit. We're obliged to interrupt your work. And tech use.
Um, okay, we've done more things. And now we go to the control altar. Yeah. Command throne. They slit his throat. Oh uh, no! They, oh wait, did they always just slit his throat? So here's yeah. my question for you guys. It's not the guy who's hanging that they slit. It's the guy who's in the chair. That uh, should we ask okay. Pascal to sit down, or should I be sit? Should I sit down? Um. Because this might be a little blasphemous for Pascal if we sit down. Uh, I, guess, I mean, you're already being blasphemous. I guess let Pascal sit down. Request denied. I am not authorized. Okay, fine. That's uh, fine. all right. Well, fuck it. I'll just sit my. Ass <laughs> if such an act would be sacrilege. Fine. Then you'll do a sacrilege. Oh, oh, uh, no. Poor, wait, poor Pascal. Pain nope. is visible in tech priest's eyes as he looks upon the sacrilege. Yeah, and then also, um, <laughs> Baron Rabute. Eight damage. I'm fried. I'm that guy in Red October. <laughs> Used his toes to close the circuit. Omnisaya be praised. You've been toaster fucked, we bitches. We all leveled up. Yep. I'm sorry, Pascal. I love how you ran over here. You didn't let us level up. You didn't let us oh, search God. the room. I fucked up, didn't I? Eh. It's not going to completely pull us out. We're not going to be... We'll be able to still search the room and level can up. Can I back out of this? It's okay. We can do this. <laughs> uh, who are you, servant of the Omnissiah? Abel Hanamimon. Oh, that's Abel. Yeah. Uh, the echo of my call has reached you. The iteration is at its end. The design is fulfilled. What design? What are you calling yourself by my name? Uh, was it you who summoned you? Ask him about Armnat. Uh, he came because of himself. Myself, to redeem myself, to correct mistake. Possibly, but how do you? The hubris of the mind spurs him to build monuments to himself. Do not regret, for all is predetermined by the iteration. Um, we can talk to him once we get him out of here. Rakes the heart. The probabilities are dark and frightening. Brother, I do not wish to gaze into them. Uh, we are the flame of knowledge that drives the darkness away. Do not fear what is to come. Uh, examine the tech priest. There are deep burns all over his flesh and skin around his augmentics. He's been graffitied. <laughs> um, not it's all not the a public electric public urinal, you alive. bastards. <laughs> Uh, and his face contorts in a mocking grimace. Malformed by Neric code, repulsively jarring on the ears, pours out of his vox. Information archived to the effect the circuit restoration him is a entrance password to the Electro Priest's hiding place. Uh, I am. I note with great sorrow that the cultist ritual has partially been successful. My tech brother has been tainted by corruption. Unacceptable. We're gonna fucking exercise him. <laughs> Um, you selected dogmatic. Shit! No, are you killing? You me? killed him, Red. You uh, killed him. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> He's like, I'm kind of save this guy. Sets him on fire. <laughs> Burns him to death. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, I like as soon as he him, just burns him. I don't know alive. why I thought the dogmatic option would be an exorcism. It even of says the dogmatic option would be fucking kill him. He, you didn't even read what it said. <laughs> it says... I didn't. <laughs> it tells you he didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's a far oh, save. That is that a. That sucks. Was that ass. the only save we had? Um, it was the most recent save. Oh my, oh my god. god. What? Fuck. <clears throat> you just had to kill him. Speaking
speed run, speed run, speed run. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We've been here. We've done this. We don't need the, we don't need the. Whoops a doodly. Whoops a daisy. And now let me give Heinrichs too fuzzy. All right, level that man up. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can do it faster. Oh my God, lols. We still have to go through that hole. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're gonna kill him quick. We're gonna kill him quicker. It, I still have to do other stuff too. I'm still leveling up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Good one. Okay, why didn't you let me actually select this goddamn thing? I selected it. What the f uh oh, okay. Things were being weird right now. We fucked up. You fucked up. Look, 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 look. We, there's no I in team. <laughs> the party made a mistake. Up. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Now I have to figure out what I actually selected before <laughs> because it's like, huh. Oh yes, I tried that one. That's what it was, okay. So it's definitely not the exact same as what I had um, for my particular Heinrichs, but that's okay. All right, inventory. <laughs> Inventory. Yeah, because you know you did stuff like that too. Uh it's almost like uh, maybe you should consider um, saving after this. I, I was very confident that my choice was going to be correct. You were wrong. I know. I was very wrong. Uh, is that all the things that looks like all? So. Let's do that sort of music. It makes it easier to figure out where shit is. Alright. That's where he's gonna be at for now. Do I detect do a save? Voice? Saved. To victory. Alright, let's get inquisitive. Let's get my uh, character up there because my character has the actual sight ranges. My mind is focused. Perfect. Do 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 do. Ah, one sniper there. Love how my screen has to keep jumping back to me after targeting someone way the fuck out there. And now they are paced. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it's all the way down there. <laughs> what is all the way down there? The fucking lightning. Oh yeah, it moves fast, which is annoying. I. I think I'll be fine with one shock. Yeah, one shot's not bad. Oh. 
I mean, if you could stand one notch closer to the stairs. Like, what are you saved there? Like, not there. Yeah, there, where you actually are. I tried to mark where you're standing right now. That is a good spot. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that that's a safe spot because you see it's not scorched on the ground. It's almost nope. like I've done this particular hallway battle a few too many times, too. <laughs> Hi, you're on fire. Fuck off. Why do you parry this? Parry this, you fucker. <laughs> Eblod! 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 Bad show, a blood. Does that last pistol only do a burst damage too? Yes, it only does burst damage. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I like putting a plasma pistol on him. So he has a plasma. Chaos that's the plasma pistol me. he has. You know, just Heinrich's doing his dodges Burn again. The laser pistol. Oh, he didn't Aww. dodge that one. <laughs> I like how it barely did the damage to him though. He's just like, ah. Not as much as that guy who went blah, 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 as he got obliterated <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> that was the funniest shit. <laughs> Crease is Jordan's, Pascal. <laughs> Jordan's creased. Ding. Ding. Small. Yes. What you doing? I'm a member. Saying that, like, I hate that there's a wall there I can't exactly see without, like, full turning the camera. Oh, that dude, yeah. That guy, that one gunner in the corner is a problem. Yeah, he's fucking annoying. I mean, the um, good thing is he can only shoot at Abelard and Heinrichs right now. Like, that's all yeah. he can shoot at. And when they get to go, they're just gonna punch him first. Now he's already fired and missed, so. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, he didn't fire and miss. He fired and Heinrichs won. Dodge. <laughs> Actually, I think he shot Ablard and Ablard just did not give a fuck. Oh, yeah. Right. Ablard's a walking tank. Um. Make making it work, I guess. Yeah. He has no more AP to do anything though. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just. To, to get through the combat. Oh, the, that's rec not what I wanted you to do, you asshole. Reckless strike. <laughs> Ablard, why? Ablard, why? <laughs> that Guess was you're up here now, Ablard. <sighs> that was an interesting choice, Ablard. Uh, I explicitly told him to, to shoot that man, but he didn't. Do I even have anyone? No, all right. Well, Hardship, the lightning is right here. Yep. Mm, don't have the full of um, great shots, but, you know, good enough. 
See, Red? Right. You're just barely in it. <laughs> Where's... Then you walk through it. <laughs> Uh We <laughs> Ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> hold on, hold on guys, I can do it. I can do it, guys. Ooh. Wee, there we go! <laughs> you just hit it right in the face. <laughs> you finally <laughs> threw enough fireballs it worked. Hey, if you just do nothing but fireball, you'll get what you want eventually. Yep. Oh, I thought he basically just watched one arc over, and then it was like, oh, neat, and they just got nailed by the second one. Heinrich, do you call that a show? Give us a show. No, no, this is how it's done. This is how you kill someone. We must act. Shall I pull myself up again? Uh, shall speed level? We shall prevail. Uh, yeah, how do we want to do this one, Fuzzy? Um, I'm going to grab some goods. You, shall stand um, way. I'm going to try to do the whole teleport us into that spot. It doesn't reset if, I, if, you, if we teleport over, so. Yeah, that's, that's fine what's by me. Getting as much goods as I can, too. Since I, I've navigated this puzzle enough. And no one should be standing in anything right now. Let's just grab that real quick. Follow my lead. I'll just pick second. It's about time. God, God damn it! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to team. find the one that I was using for, for the one I picked last time! Let me finish! I've seen a lot of innocent people. I have yet to see someone remain so after an interrogation. Hey, there's that one. I tire of idleness. Pascal. Let's move. We shall prevail. <laughs> Red doing the smart thing. Just gonna uh, keep us going. We're not gonna have any issues. Go, issues? No issues. Okay, I'm good. Okay, and there's a logic in front of us as I go yeah, through I my it. things real quick. Where you go, Pascal? Right, that's what I should do. That's what I should do. Cool, I did slightly better this time because, you know, now the, 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 like remembered some aspects. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. I serve the golden throne. I have proven myself yet again. <laughs> A new challenge for me. Yeah, whatever. That was just one whack. Just a, just a little. What's a little tasing, you know? Yeah, that's just one. That's easy to recover from. Okay, 
All right. Okay, we right. don't. Wait, we save. Save. We save. Yay. And we don't kill him this time. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Are you sure that that's armed not? Look around the hall. Uh, we yeah, must that's save. Our guy. Yep, that's our guy. We will save him. Um. So if we do it dogmatically, will it take longer? Because I'm assuming we'll just run in and kill everyone. We'll go in and kill everyone. I guess it would take longer. It, the fastest was us just lighting everyone aflame. It was like literally lighting everyone up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th here's the thing. Um, I, once you kill enough people, he lights everyone up with the electricity. If you do the um, dogmatic one, so it's literally just a, a count. Um, a, basically, you just have to kill enough people, and it does it. Do 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 do. Uh, tech use. Uh, quick. Yeah. Awesome. Power cycle. Then we gotta go over and do the thingy over here. Do the thingy. Roll play. Cause an overload. We did at least give Pascal the offer, though. Yeah, we can skip the uh, uh, him offering again because you tried. You just do the sacrilege yeah. yourself. Warp. Fuck you. Tase me. <laughs> Your character is just having pain of this mortal thing. Like, you're just like, whatever. <laughs> Hey, should I start clearing, the, getting all the items from people's bodies before he starts talking? Yeah, I'll do. We we can level up. We'll we'll level up. Here, look, we have things to sell now too. I think when I first ever did this, ended up with like three chaos spawns in here. Jesus. Yeah, they kept on um, getting. Apparently, that um, it was also like it broke the game a few times because that was like back when it was still kind of laggy. So I ended nice. up like the chaos spawns like would break it too, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" And I was just like, "Oh." Tread carefully, rogue trader. Okay, well that ladder's a little messed up for me. It's making small go up the ladder and not me. <laughs> oh, fuck. There we go. Now it finally sent me properly. It's about time. Okay, I'm gonna level up my characters. I'm grabbing some. Um... Do I detect doubt in your voice? Got some goods. Got a lot of goods. I think this room has been cleared. Yes, this room is cleared of goods. I'll be right back while people level up. With you at my side, victory is within our grasp. I am figuring out what I want to take. Mm -hmm. I'll yep. take it from here.
this because I get to do more attacks per attack. Now I think I want to start leveling up my ballistic skill. I think that's what's causing you to miss on your um, torch. I can actually double check here. In the I don't think I've missed yet, but... Well, maybe, but... Um, this thing's just a real big fucking AoE. Well, there's a... It has, like, when it does, it does like seven... Like, when you do those... Um, big, like, attack kind of thing, you do get... Um, yeah. You do have... You fire seven shots. Um, let's see here. What is it doing for each shot? Can you tell me a little bit more detail? It doesn't tell me which stat you're doing it on. This looks like a regular ballistic skill check. Yeah, I think it's doing a ballistic skill check for you, Red. Okay. Um, the thing is, is your hit roll, like I'm looking at one of them, your hit roll was like literally you had 100% chance. So that's why it's like, huh. It's just I think what they're doing is that they get like cover and um, their dodges and stuffs. Mm. But there's some that's like for the deviation, I think is some other thing. There's some roll going here that I can't tell for sure. Um, it's like since it says one burst strong deviation two burst central line three burst central line four burst central line five burst central line six burst strong deviation seven burst strong de deviation okay I'm back it's a little weird I haven't fully figured that one out still Victory I'm trying to understand like what red staff um, is using for like what skill it's using on him. Makes sense. Are you using like the Inferno on it, Red? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, Blard, what do we want to give you? Um, yeah, so, um, Red, really the only thing that seems with it is that, um, the only thing that improves it is your sight rating. That's literally it. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, it literally just says the projectiles have a 60% chance to fly along the central line and 40% chance, 40 chance to deviate to one of the lateral lines. And they get the warp burn effect, whereas they have to do an agility, the enemies have to do an agility test to stop burning. Um, willpower. So basically, what improve what you do is psychic rating and willpower bonus both increase its damage. Okay. Yeah. So um, basically, every time you um, increase your psi rating and stuff like that, you'll increase your damage with it. All right. Uh, now I'll level up real quick. And then we'll save again. <laughs> you can never save too many times. Yeah, you can. No, you can. Nah. Yes. Oh, did you also get this chest? Or is uh, it not operable? I mean, what I don't... It didn't... Uh, oh, hold okay, on. it didn't ping. Okay. What chest? I mean, I can't see it because I'm in my level up. <laughs> I didn't know if walking up to him would just... It's not real. Uh, it looked real. It's real fake. All right. Uh -huh. I guess I should increase that too. Yeah, that's a good increase too. All right. All right. Now, oh, shall right. we? Heinrichs. Heinrichs. What is he I forgot about Heinrichs. <laughs> I oh. also forgot about Heinrichs. Wow, poor Heinrichs. So fancy, yet easily forgotten. <laughs> Yes, that one will 
He's still good for him. Don't he increase his uh, weapon skill at some point? All right, got it. Now we don't kill him. Who are you? What, what design? Save him. You can talk to him once you're out of here. <laughs> try it down. Uh, try to take it down. A kind of classed. I will shall help save I him. Help the save words him. actually say, "I shall help save him," <laughs> instead of "I will give him the emperor's uh, mercy." Okay, I, I realized why I thought because basically we exercise him. Oh, with the bottom one, uh, with the lower one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're thinking. You, I mean, the top one's exercising him with electricity. Oh. Undaunted. Oh, you didn't even decide to read that one? Nope. We, we, we wasted enough time. No. Now, now we can... Uh, now we may continue. Wait, yeah, he's alive still. Yay. Yes. yes. We saved him. He's My on the ship. Is focused. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he, he's just got some ouchies now. You know, he we did have scrap code in him and stuff. So. Wait. There we go. Hey, let's go find the old guy that's definitely not locked really? up in here. I found. There we go. I literally just failed a 95% check and I was like, God damn it. Data, date, data altar of uh, yeah, this time, thing. It's time to do your prayers, buddy. That's not known to me. Only high-ranking servants. Well, shit. That seems problematic that they don't know. Is that it they can't this one? I think was it this one? I can't. I, I just uh, recently I did this, and I kind of forgot. Verse two calls to you, pilgrim. Let us fill our souls with gratitude towards. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I have look it up. Oh, this, this is an easy. Um. It, it's literally just the mechanicus. Uh. Yeah, and the thing is, I tried to do it. I somehow I managed to do it by memory last time. I feel uh, like yeah, I'm... small. If you want to look up the yeah. prayer, Red, we'll get, we can keep trying. Yeah, oh Messiah. Let's see if I can remember some things. Uh... Was it the twin poles? The soul. No, okay. I like how I just did it recently. I just blazed through it in one try, and I couldn't remember. I still can't remember what it was. Now let us sing the canticle to the mode of fourth. You know what? Close circuit. Through the veins that seems of copper. My thing. Uh, short circuit. I feel like the immortal reason. Yeah, I, I think I remember the immortal reason now. I think I think the immortal reason is one of them. Small. Uh, I know. We'll try that one again. Uh. Let's do the twin poles and then the um reason. It could also be the hallowed contacts. Let's do the hallowed contacts. Mortal reason. Oh my god. There is, I think, a technically a way to fire us to find it, but it's outside. Jesus Christ. This fucking news app is starting to piss me off. It is. is uh, Omnisaya, the it's arcane, Omnisaya key. arcane Key. Arcane Immortal Intelligence. Fairly so, Pilgrim has learned our way. Yay! Yeah, like, I was going through, I was like, I might be able to find this. <laughs> we were close. If it was. Arcane Key threw us, because the fucking forgot. tech priests. Yeah, I forgot about the arcane key thing. Oh, hey, so uh, I think that you should take that pinpoint visor. Um, also, that's an arc rifle. The pinpoint visor, I mean, I might as well use it because it's like, 
I, the other helmet that I'm wearing doesn't really help, but I will say this. The pinpoint visor doesn't actually help that much because usually I'm attacking things with greater than 50% wounds. <laughs> Fair. Uh, who do you want to give the arc rifle to? I've never really liked it. You never liked it? I've what? usually sold it. I'll give it to Eblard. He's most of Unless small, would you like a taser rifle? Good. I mean, small could. It would be a ranged weapon for small. Yeah, that's the thing. The only reason I never really liked it is because um, the ranged weaponry I had was basically Argenta, um, me, and Cassia. Small. Everything take else. Your is taser gun. Rifle? Yep. I can't equip my sword if I do that. Um, you can do. You have two you have slots. Two weapon slots. As in, there's um, one for um, like basically two setups. You could do yeah. a the rifle on, underneath kind of thing, and then um, your sword okay. and yeah, there you go. I see it. All right. Let's go get jumped by fucking electro priests. You get jumped. I like how I sat over here purposefully. <laughs> I didn't even know. I was just here. <laughs> you... Harry! Oh, perfect. So Indeed. He has all of one brain cell. Yeah, work these guys in the back. I'm gonna set yep. fire to everyone else. Yourself, oh, you know what I realized? We missed we've missed out. We've been missing out on this entire time. What? The uh, the buff that makes us immune to electrical damage. Um, I use that um right after this one. I use it for the next room. Somehow I got it first, like before I did anything it's else. It's because um, you, if you go the other way around, like in the uh, loop, you who get are you targeting? To... Who are you targeting? I'm trying to hit both of these two fuckers at once. Uh, can you get? Ah, shit. Okay, yeah, that works still. Hey, small. Uh, yeah. if you tell Ablard to bring it down so he can get out of the way, I'm gonna start setting shit on fire. Yo. The toxic needle seems just like a good way to accidentally stab yourself. <laughs> like, uh, like if you just actually more aged, like, oh fuck. Um, small as the rec. Oh, you were already done with your turn. No, I was not. Uh, Oops. don't worry. This is just an extra turn. Oh, you have an extra turn because of, um... Uh, Ablard gave me a thing that lets me move. I had oh, a thing okay. I was gonna... I had things I was gonna do, but yeah. Yeah, there's some more things. Um, wait, why do I have... Oh, movement. You oh, you that. were in the thing for the brace for impact is why. Yeah. yeah. So was Heinrich. The Emperor and so was Small. Died. So small, you give Abelard the break and break their ranks. That's what I was going to do. Wait, why did it jump to Abelard's turn? I don't know. Oh, uh, that was small's extra movement, and then it went to Abelard, so Abelard could end his turn. Oh, uh, yeah. Because if you give him the break the ranks, he will. Since he gave him the, that command, he will immediately attack that thing in front of him. Shit. Oh, nice. Did the break the ranks not give him the ability to? It's uh, whenever it's on his turn. No, um, it, I think it's he should have gone it. It's so, uh, that's so until weird. the start 
All melee attacks made by the target deal an additional two. If the, if target, the target is under the effect of voice command, they immediately make an attack of opportunity against an adjacent enemy targeting the one with the lowest remaining wounds. Is he's he under, under the voice, voice of command? He's under the voice of command. Weird. Yeah, that's why it's, it might be because of his whole, he did the yeah, breakdown. We might have done some weirdness there. Yeah, like I, he might not have had anything left. No, not right there. Yeah, right there. Made like those two people, and you might be able to wipe them out, and then you can go flame the others. <laughs> and now do the um, machine. These guys, the machine spirit banishment will actually do damage too, so you can do the guy right next to you. Wait, did that heal him? I see if they have healed him. Yep. Oh, these particular enemies They're like shock. They're electro priests. Yeah, they like the shock. They're that into that. it. He'll die anyway. See, Red, you can move over and hit the other three. Ack, if I could just get my thing to work with me. I mean, I feel like your staff would have been great. Uh, yeah, but this gives me burning on everyone, so that gives me a little bit more to do. Go. Go and blood. Hey, blood. Slice this fool. Now charge that other fools. <laughs> you might as well have a to murder them. Wow. Ah! Ah! That's because of your that reckless rude. charge. Your reckless charge causes them to attack. And then they just but your reckless you. charge is gone, so now you can attack them without them doing that. Uh, your reckless strike is gone, so you just sucks don't use. Is... You can still attack. I can. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to maximize this. I mean, you had so many attacks, you could have just kept going one single strike attacks. You didn't need to necessarily make it stronger. You just needed to keep attacking. Because you have unlimited attacks, <laughs> depending well, on I your have a certain amount of AP to make them though. Yes, but you had four. You had four. They had a lot of health. No, not compared to your it. strike. You literally did ha over half their health in one hit. No, he was already hurt. He healed it back. But you still, but the, like literally, this guy that you hit behind you, you know, like afterwards, you hit twice and he died. Okay, we don't have to go into that room just yet. But you triggered it, so just don't go into it. So we can go over here. Don't go into it. Yeah, there's something there's something special over here. None shall stand in my way. Something of interest. I like that there's two I can't remember if there's something in the other one. I'm just making sure there's nothing else. Yep, okay. Victory awaits! A tech priest's body rests on a metal table. Surrounded by sparking spirals of copper coil, a patinia of sacred undulance covers his withered flesh. His augments have been polished with great care. Intricate electus cover the dead man's crossed arms and bare torso. Strands of wire envelop his head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna examine his body. Yep. How lewd. Pascal, honored adherent, I thank you for showing us the truth of Fabricator General Pakhovark's maxims. Death does not end the servant service. Mm -hmm. Not even gonna talk your flowery speech, boy. Oh my God! So uh, the body seems I motionless. Could I could do Pascal. Let me be flowery. His mind enveloped in digital reverie. Ah, uh, can you hear me, Tech Priest? The light in the crypt becomes a little brighter and sharper, and the smell of ozone fills the air. Hans, I don't want you to hang yourself with my fucking headphone cord. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your cat's just going, burp, 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 burp. I crave death! <laughs> Yay! It's muffin time! 
In this dark hour, I'm ready to bring you good tidings, tech brethren. Now respond with the words of the second Galvanic hymn. Oh, fuck. Uh, we know this one, actually. Yeah. Yay. Tech use, yeah. We also figured it out with the altar. Uh, destroy the body. <laughs> uh, the monastery is under attacks by heretics. Can you help? In my data dream, I saw the unholy requests and rejected them angrily, for it is said that the fourth article of security, no unbeliever's hands shall intrude upon the operation cycle. They have seditious designs on the relic, but should I give you, who does not belong to our faith and fellowship, my blessing to stand up to blasphemers? Uh, I like that small... Is both. Yes. <laughs> Small as both. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm bo what if, what, Small, how do you want to do you want to intimidate him you, or do you want to convince him? Small, you're basically you make us a hundred percent check on both of these. Uh, I'll do the. Per I I I, I want to persuade him. Be kind. Be like yeah. This statement is true. The first article of security says, "Fear above all evils, the defilement of knowledge." Blah 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 blah. blah. So be it the name of the shaming believers. I grant you the force of the motive force. Yay. By the way, Red, the reason why I'm also saying like you should just attack when you have multiple attacks kind of thing is one, two attacks is stronger than putting a buff on one attack due to the fact that the whole reason that the, if the system is built about you buffing attacks is because you usually only get one attack. Yeah, fair enough. So two attacks is usually more is stronger than yeah, buffing one attack. Attacks. I've noticed that. Like I, I started doing that, and I was like, oh shit, I should stop buffing the attacks when I have more than one attack, because it really doesn't help unless you do one attack. Because like on the actual tabletop, if you're actually playing, you don't get the sh these crazy heroic acts which give you the um like insane big amounts. strong things. Or basically, you can yeah, never do more than one attack. Like, the, that ability that you get the whole second attack, it's usually your second attack is really weakened, and it usually sucks. So it's usually better, to, it's like, yeah, you can get it, so that oh. way the second attack's not bad, but, you know, we that's what's no time to lose. Over here, Small. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Small's here. Small can see the, was, you know... I was gonna mention that there was an interesting question of the day on the server that I'm on. <laughs> What's the uh, question would, of the day? Would you rather not be able to open any closed doors, locked or unlocked, or would you, or not be able to close any open doors? Oh god. All of those sound horrible. I didn't fully uh, pay attention, but that's okay. <laughs> I think I'd rather be able to open doors and not close them. A shortish muscular man, wearing the scarlet colors of the priesthood of Mars, steps into your path. The wrinkles on his cheek and forehead point to his propensity for frequent outbursts of fierce anger. But right now he is showing no signs of aggression. Glowing blue patterns of electric tattoos, or electus, show through his oddly bluish tinted skin. <laughs> electus. <laughs> May the charge of the Omnissiah's mercy persist in the hands of the faithful. The Emperor protects, fuck you. <laughs> uh, the hollowed into electrodynamics cenebium, cenebium receives you, Pilgrim. I am Dar Impulse Six, a servant of the Mold of Force and Praetor Electroid of this sacred monastery. He's just an impulse. <laughs> Yo, know, some of your friends are still in pieces right uh, here. Captain Alphals, <laughs> hunting man, a thrill of by, by Herrick signals comes from his box, to which the creator pre responds with a solemn gesture of blessing. Pascal turns to you and says, The rake of Parader Electroid is a sign and of high standing within the Electro Priest fraternity. To have been granted an audience is a great honor. Frat boy. You have the honor of hosting the rogue trader of House Von Valencius. Thank you for telling us who we are, Ablard. I urge you follow <laughs> proper etiquette when interacting with the imminent bearer of the sacred warrant. Worldly titles mean nothing to the motive force. Your of deeds, course, however, speak always. louder. Um, It was to you, was it not, that Logis Abel came seeking an interpretation of his data trance? Uh, in to engage in a magnetic meditation that would help clarify his visions. Unfortunately, the heretic's machinations prevented us from completing the ritual. 
Uh, what can you tell us about Logos? We did not speak much to each other. He preferred to devote his time to solitary reflections in his chapel. Um, this makes his logic different from that of other people. He thinks differently. <laughs> in uh, a good way. What kind of visions is he having? Uh, the Omnissiah's revelations was encrypted with great meticulousness. So, I've rescued him from the insurgents. I definitely didn't set him on fire. <laughs> uh, what? That was a different world. Different, different time. <laughs> Save scumming. Do you, will, will, I, will I be saved in every universe? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In some universes, we're just pure hered heretics. Task to lay before us. I must commend the skill, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry, Heinrichs, you're just an afterthought for red. <laughs> uh, but my brethren, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of talking to say, hey, here's what you already know. Uh, my enforcers and the governor's guard can help you reclaim the monastery. And they go, I cannot nope. allow the lay people in here. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, true person of faith would have never hidden. Uh, what what what's the party say? Oh God, it's. Oh. I know. Do we want to be kind of rude to him? Do we want to? I I just know a lot of these ones are just gonna bring us right back to talking. I feel like. I'm not super pious on this playthrough, so. Uh, da, da, da. I wish to get to the holy reactor. Yeah, open the door, let us through. We got heretics to purge. Uh, You're not okay. high enough on dogmatic, it looks like, this time around. Shit. If I was high enough, I'd be able to recruit a bunch of these people. Yep, yeah, but you're not. I think you have to be pretty high on um, dogmatic then, because I do yep. not have that. Well, then I again, the very that. first choice that you select is um, massive. Yep. I, uh... Excuse me, sorry. I, I had that on my last one. Yeah. Come on. God damn it. You just collected it on, on me. I was literally <laughs> in it. I was holding the button to collect all, and it was just... That was that. Tis mine. Gonna save again. Come on, I open it something. up. I'll take it from you, here. You know what's funny though? What? It, you, or orcs would never be able to challenge you if you said I licked it. It's mine. <laughs> Explain your logic, because I'm pretty sure they'd be able to challenge you. I'm pretty sure they'd just be like. I'll I'll just take it from you. Like, are you they'll strong? They'll just lick it. They'll just lick it, and then it'll be theirs. Yeah, they're gonna be like, I'm gonna lick it harder. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like, if, like, if, if you know it could kill you. Like, <laughs> you mean tricking an orc into licking something? <laughs> <laughs> like, here's this poison frog. I licked it. It's mine. They go, no, I lick. <laughs> What's the thing from Katachan, the blast toad <laughs> that if it yeah. gets scared it explodes in a kilometer radius? <laughs> Don't boop the snoot! I wanna boop the snoot! Don't boop the snoot! <laughs> boop! <laughs> 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 This is yours. <laughs> oh God! How predictable your path is. How static. All of the possible deaths you have skirted, only to perish here in the fiery tempest that will mark the final dawn. You've arrived just in time, little cog. The schismaticals use your regalia like a mask to subdue the reactor. Press X to doubt. A cog. I cannot comprehend why apostates try to insult me by comparing me to the sacred symbol of our faith. It is irrational. 
The sacred cog grinds all corruption to dust. From the dust, I will build order. Step away from the reactor, and I might allow you to surrender. <laughs> like he says, so I might allow you to surrender. <laughs> There's no surrendering. <laughs> You're chained to the falsehood of a dead god's religion. Captives do not take captives. <laughs> I'm, I've been walking freely through this place. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, the woman's voice breaks and shifts to a different pitch and timber. A martyr's voice, young, fervent, and in pain. Time has all but run out. I can hear the fist of the future knocking on the door of the present. Choose quickly what you want to be when it walks in. A blind slave to what is gone, a faithful servant to what has come, or a corpse. Um. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna account. get much more from this bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> the Kool-Aid of she's heresy. Reactor fluid. Wait, what was oh, that? Oh, hey, we passed our will saves. What was that? You cannot make her blasphemous words, but the name of the heretic keeps repeating the edge of daybreak, digs into hearing like a blade that into defenseless flesh. However, we muster our strength to banish it from her mind. Yeah, because I'm wondering it also, it's like, do you still have the thing in your mind? I do. Okay. I will cast you into eternal darkness. Oh, you boy. Sure. Oh, and she's, of course, bubbled up. Yeah, don't, don't even bother going for her. There's nothing you can do. I'm gonna set so much shit on fire. Hey, blood. Tell them who we are. Yes, you are gonna set a lot of shit on fire because I go. All the other characters go really late. Where? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are going that way. Well, no, we. I'm gonna send Heinrichs over to your direction too, okay. since um, it's good to split. So um. The electro priest that you see next to each pillar, um, every time you kill one, it increases the timer for, because it says right now, rounds until the reactor explodes. Two. Okay, so I kill him first. Yeah. Yeah, the more you, the, and there's like, there's um, six of them in total. Kill Shocky McSnail Man. Yeah. Oh, hey, small, um, analyze him. Okay, so. Enemies. Yep. Analyze him. And now, if you do the expose weakness, it'll reduce his armor and parry. Yeah. And dodge. So that way, your attack can hit him harder. Okay. And he has less health now. Um, machine spirit communion would be pretty good. It's basically like prayer where it makes all of us better and all of them worse. Just their weapons. There you go. No, Pascal! You fuckers. Perry! I serve the ruin of powers! All right, so... Wait, why did you put Avalar there? That was really the only place I could put him to help our help our end out. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Another step towards our ultimate victory. Go. Uh. <laughs> no. Pascal, I'm gonna fuck you fuckers up for that. Death to the weak. See my great works, master! 
Uh-huh. What? I don't know. I'm confused. Why is Trombone in the sky proc? I hello? Don't... Hello? You can hear me still, right? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. At no first one... I was like, oh, was that a sound bit from my stream? And I was like, no. Uh, should I do break their ranks or should I do um, bring it down for Pascal? Bring it down for Pascal. He can finish off that Electro Priest. And he could do a big AoE. Oh, attack, so you probably. can. So we could also do. Oh, okay. You had enough Sorry, points I that I think um, you could have done the whole voice of command, break their ranks, and then the um, bring it down. Yeah, go with your boss first. Yep. And then now you could try to give it to him out of the break at ranks. He might be able to kill this one dude in front of him. Since he should be under the. Oh, wait, oh I guess he. Um, right. He needs to be under the um, voice of command before break of ranks. But you still have AP. The voice of command is basically the first thing that you should do. There we go. I still did him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, voice of command is basically the first person you should do before you do break it, before any other um, buff you give to a player. Uh, uh, Abelard can kill that thing, so I'll take care of that one way the fuck out there. Well, I got, well, I took care of the, I took care of him anyway. Yeah. Indeed. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, Red, my first time playing this, there there was a bug in this room that was ended up being absolutely hilarious. What I happened? could shoot through the pillars. Oh, nice. So I ended up shooting um, even the people in the back without a problem. Nice. <clears throat> so um, I saw something, and, and it's, it's kind of a strat. It seems baked into the Pyromancer class. But it seems like I can set my own team on fire and then make it so they only take half damage from fire damage. <laughs> but they deal full burning damage to anything they hit while on fire. Hmm. Do you have a soul purge? Oh, 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 okay. Ready for next? <laughs> He's ready for the next phase. <laughs> hey, Blair, tell him who we are. Yeah. Balls. You cannot slap a blood. Man, I thought I heard the sounds of, like a motor, like outside my house like someone's like lawn mowing or leaf blowing and i'm realizing it's just the low hums of the machines in this room <laughs> because the volume the the, the the um the pitch has changed on how many um electro police are arrived like that's the, the um, pitch is going down <laughs> Not care for Pascal. I really don't. End is near. <coughs> yeah, dodged. <laughs> wow, Abel are dodged? That's a weird one to see. I'm actually surprised Abel are dodged. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost curious. What was his chance of dodging?
His chance to dodge was 20%. He literally rolled a five on it to dodge. Nice. <laughs> like, holy shit. Go get him, A-Blood. Indeed, yeah. I forgot. I have a thing with um for Heinrichs. Every turn he gets um more armor. Nice. Should I set Ablard on fire? Up to you. You control Ablard. Do control Ablard. I don't want to give him. Oh, there's still another Electro Priest back there. Oh, yeah. There's Out two still. I thought you got the one that was already back there. No, there's one. Uh, no, I got Heinrich next to him. There's six in total. We've okay. killed four. Good roll, too. <laughs> yep, and you're increasing your ballistic skill as you should be because that's the fellowship and ballistic skill, I think, is the most important for Commissar Small. Yeah. Do you know what's funny? Following the 40k tropes, Commissar Small, while incredibly amusing to us, could absolutely be a thing because there's a lot of really tiny commissars. <laughs> oh yeah. Like there's a lot but of like, I, I wouldn't like, even survive the commissar school though. I'd get fucked. Isn't it like, like super rigorous and like it's lucky. Oh yeah, it is. It's a, it, it's a whole thing. But like there's a lot of really tiny commissars who like, even like if they're like a Not nice the person, they're just brutally fierce all the time. And that's how they got through everything. Like one, I, I, one, one of those reading, like the guy is described, like he's like, he's really short, but extremely fiery and angry. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that tracks. And that guy's a gib now. Oh my. What? Heinrichs, I won't go down easy. Oh, that's what he said on yours? No. Eyebrow wiggles. I heard throne take you. And now he just heals himself. Heinrichs is causing a lot of veil degradation. God, Heinrichs. Yeah, no, all this stuff is high powerful stuffs. Like they're they're not minor um, powers. They're large powers. No, but you can give him the thing where he doesn't degrade very fast. I mean, like the, it's like the, basically your first one is always free. I, I can't remember the first one's always free. I mean, either way, I do a lot with him. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, is it my turn? Look at that, it's my turn. Yeah, because the guy who was next to you, his turn, he just burned. All right, Abelard, start running down that corridor. Is it Abelard or is it Baron Rabuda? Okay, it's, it's Abelard. It's Abelard. Yeah. Hey, blood, tell him who we are. Smack him. Oh. We'll see if, this, if we get unlucky. Oh, pace. Oh, hey, blood. You live over here now. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, blood. You can't make an enemy. <laughs> Alright, just goes. I dodge again. Oh, no. Pascal. Okay. I believe in you. So, by the way, the veil is also de degrading because of the damn um, cultists. Oh, are they doing? Are prayers. they doing culty shit? Yeah, there's some prayers that are happening. Literally, I just saw someone says, "My prayers weren't answered." <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yep, I see one that's praying. These two in the back are praying. Yeah, they, the, the one of them just finished its prayer and all it did was nothing. They just went, I was not answered, but it increased the veil. There's no... <clears throat> fucking Pascal has no time for your bullshit. Get out of the fucking way. You should lead with exposed weakness, by the way. I know, I just... I just... Okay, mean. Ablard, we're gonna do something a little fucky, okay, buddy? Oh. Okay, you're gonna set him on fire when he's this far away from the enemies. You know, it's gonna be a while Don't before he gets there. Don't worry, Ablard. Don't worry. He's probably just gonna he put the fire out on his turn. Nope, he can't put the fire out anymore, but he also doesn't take damage from he doesn't take as much damage from it. Uh I need second sight. Hey, Fuzzy, would you like to be on fire? Uh, there's no reason for me to be on fire. Oh, guess I'm on fire. Because, like, I'm not going to be going that close. I can literally attack them from a distance. <laughs> I just need angles. The wharf is deaf to my prayers, he just said. <laughs> I like that they're shooting over there, which implies that they're not looking down the hall. They're gonna turn back, and two guys who are, who set themselves oh. on fire are just gonna come kick their. Uh, like I said, it's implying that they it's they don't have line of sights. They definitely don't have line of sight to a Abelard. They're gonna be like, huh? Why does it smell like pork? Yeah, these big. There's a lot of big sightline blockers here. There he is. <clears throat> Like, my character has to move because I literally don't have a line of sight at the moment. So, Abelard's, Abelard's epicenter of slaughter actually is, in theory, going to give him enough temporary health per round that he just won't take damage from being on fire. Unfortunately, I was going to say... <laughs> like, he just won't he care. Oh, I can't um, use Exposed Weakness because or anything. He's too far away, but dead. No praying for you. How can you pray? You know what? Screw Heinrich. it. Slap him in the pee pee. Yeah, he's gonna use his um, force weapon. <laughs> For the throne's glory. God, all the other electro priests have like died in like one, maybe two turns. This electro priest has survived for a bit. And it's just Heinrich just beating the hell out of him. <laughs> yep, Abelard gives no shits. <laughs> uh, so I checked. I'm still on the safe plan, so I don't. Oh, I'm not. Like, awesome. Abelard, go punch that Electro Priest. God, he is so far away, though. Yep. All right, Abelard, you might not be able to punch him, but you know what you can do? Get closer. <laughs> Terrify them. You're on fire. Uh, Needle. Shit. I'm stupid. Because now he can't shoot them. It's. Uh, I'll go ahead and endure. I think he's still on fire. Yeah, he's Is he still, still on fire? fire. I still see fire. Yep, er, orchestrate, orchestrate. He doesn't stop burning. So regardless, he's just gonna be on fire. Awesome. Okay, that guy's finally put the veil high enough. Too fast to die. Dodge 500 enemy attacks. Yeah, we still have a lot to do on that. I haven't gotten that achievement yet. It's just counting. Nicely done. Um, I shall first give myself Orchestrate Flames. Can I? God. <laughs> I need, <laughs> I need that second sight. Um, by the way, Abelard did care. He just took two damage. Yeah, but he gets three temporary health every round. Okay. So, like, he is out healing the fire. Okay. You might need some healing, though. Abelard! 
Wait, no, why not? You took He's 12. Right there. You took 12 damage, by the way. Ah, uh, this is some bullshit. Is he just not in line of sight? No, no, because I could just burn him. So I have a thing where I could explode him. But he's too far. He is burning. No, I'm not sure why I can't. Um, he doesn't oh have well. the flame symbol on. He doesn't, but he's still on fire, which is weird. I mean, it might be the other thing that says he's on fire, kind of thing. Ah, right. uh, we'll find out. Got my source time. I mean, I can go check the log. And maybe it'll actually tell me. And you gave him his uh, voice of command, right? Yeah. Nice. Good job, Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Almost puts a slug into Heinrich's head. I feel, I feel like Heinrich would have been fine. He would have dodged. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I could have done. I should. I gave it a shot. Hey, dude, you're having a nice life, but goodbye. Pop my bomb. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I guess. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Worked out. I won't object to it. How embarrassing was Heinrich that? Heinrich surrounds the corner. He just sees that Abelard is on fire. He's like, hmm, that's weird. How embarrassing must that be for basically, like, you know, the boss is just working away and you're just like, huh, what? And they look over and they just see, like, you missed your shot and just shoot your ally. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, aww. <laughs> By the it's way, like, oh, I'm so getting tortured. <laughs> crap. Let's see here. I'm curious. It doesn't actually specify some of the stuff that happens like in full detail. Um, so even though you see Abelot on fire, he's not on fire. But he has the orchestrate flames. Um, right, but he doesn't have the fl um, burning status. His status does not. He does not have the burning oh, status. Gosh. Well, we'll see how this is going to interact because that, in theory, should give him some fire because damage. Because, like, you effects. have the fire status on you. You yeah. see the little fire thing? Um, so I, I don't think it... Well, we'll find out. No, he didn't care. It, his, his turn just started, and he didn't take any um, fire damage. No, none of the tests happened for fire. Well, he doesn't take tests anymore. He's just burning, and he did take two damage. No, no, not now. That yeah, was last time. This time he was it doesn't. At 50. What? He was at fifty. He was just at fifty. Now he's at forty. That's be he's at fifty because he lost his um temporary wounds. Literally, I just checked the log. It does not say ah. anything about him um losing his um taking a fire damage. That was on his last turn. This turn, he did not have any. Uh, is there a part two to this combat? No. Okay. Just kill this guy. I mean, we'll have to kill that one dude in the corner, but that's it. Which, which dude? That dude? Yeah, the one who shot at Heinrichs. Who just watched I, Heinrichs just go, thanks for shooting the Electro Priest, bye! Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to get over to him. Yeah, you can, you just have to run over here. No, he doesn't have he doesn't have enough movement speed, and he doesn't have a charge. How much, did you not select the red? He should go over here. This is the this is the shortest path. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep myself from burning to death. Oh, okay. You're gonna go try to heal yourself? Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, have Abelard how do you Slapping. not have enough movement to get to there? You have so much movement for that. I don't know. Can't make it. Abler only has a sword. Pascal. <laughs> Pascal goes, you know this little dude? Screw this guy in particular. Divide him by zero. <laughs> Just poof, gone. 
Now an aged, rattling voice speaks to you from behind the bloodstained mask. You are powerless to halt the approach of what is to come. I see a crimson trail leading humanity to its doom. I see the glow of the final dawn, and that means existence has made its choice. Jab, jab, jab. <laughs> well. The light is gone. Was that it? The final dawn? But why was it so different from what our teacher promised? You got trolled. <laughs> you got played. Confirming oh, purgation and termination. Lorzinos. You know, I just made sure Heinrichs could do Lord Zeno's text. <laughs> like, come on, you should know this. Uh, the cogitator is probably well beyond repair, but your attention is drawn away from the sacred machine and towards the dagger sticking out of the control panel. On closer inspection, it appears to be a lavishly decorated handguard of a sword whose blade has been pried out. Its pommel is decorated with a strange adornment. Interesting. You didn't even read the, the fact that it's like, you know. The same as Conrad's weapon. Yeah. Yeah. This is no human-made object. It has grown from Wraithbone, a material favored by the Eldari. Hey, Small, I realized something really cool that we can do for your character, because your character is a fucking Eldari simp. Yeah. Um, Eldari tech, um, proficiency. You can learn how to use Eldari weapons. Yeah. Sweet. So this is listed as heretical. I'm going to follow this. I want to see if I can control the sword. <laughs> oh, Uh, louder and more bloodthirsty. You pocket the trophy surreptitiously just before the interrogator appears at your shoulder. Who? Uh, I suppose whatever she used to breach the frame was melted by impact of the motive force. Hmm. 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 Rogue Trader, on behalf of the Holy Ordos, I thank you for your cooperation. I am ready to come aboard your ship and head to Footfall as soon as you deem it possible. That is, if you do not have other business in the system. Let's remove Aurora's mask. Mm -hmm. you, you can't. <laughs> you wonder for a moment, you saw something move. <laughs> you saw uh -huh. something move as you literally grab and go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> finish playing thing. And then it just goes, ask again later. Because it's an eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> Just grabbed a roar, start shaking it. It's really Boop. dumb, but I th I would be so sad if something like that didn't actually exist in this universe. <laughs> yeah, it's behind the mask. It's My just this. Uh, well, I guess, Fuzzy, if you want to go loot the corpses. Yep, and then got... people can um, level up. Um, so Loot I can't level up body. my ballistic skill again, so I might as well level up my willpower. Loot that body. Loot that dead guy's body. Gonna loot that body. <laughs> that body. Back. I'll Sorry. Claim to the stars. Now, do I want second sight or do I want to make it so that way if I set myself on fire, I get more armor? <laughs> you took 12 damage on that one. <laughs> if you didn't heal yourself, if the turn kept going, you would be very close to death. <laughs> okay, I leveled up. Uh, when the Psyker is burning, the Psyker's Psy rating is increased by plus one. The Psyker's Resolve is increased by plus two. Damage from the fire no longer reduces the Psyker's momentum. That is a good one. Or I can do Burning Blood, which whenever I use a Psychic Power, all enemies adjacent to the Psyker suffer direct damage. I would. The reason why I would say the one that increases your Psy rating is because your Psy rating is directly linked to something, a lot of your damage. 
Uh, however, there's another one where the Psyker gains eight plus eight times Psy rating additional armor against fire damage and half this amount against as additional armor against energy damage from Laz, Melta, and Plasma weapons. That's a good one to start, and then next time is the one to increase your Psy rating. Because then if you notice, it's eight times your Psy rating. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's like, the, hmm, that's useful. It's a I'm multiplier. I'm going to set myself so on fire constantly. <laughs> yeah, now you're going to be good burning to yourself to always. Force. I can also make it so that way people... Oh, this is actually really good. All right. A Blasphemous Prism, which should just go to cargo because I'm pretty sure that that's... It's heretic, yeah. Yeah, Gem of Dark Vitality, that's heretical. The Sword. That's a sword. You're really going for that sword, huh? I have theories that I want to see through. <laughs> and then you, you're the reason we all die. You see, it's so funny because this is literally how this is literally how people get a hit you know get turned heretic exactly like, i can beat it i can do it and i'm like i know the trap i see the trap but people can beat it but people can beat it you, you see this warning sign it doesn't apply to me <laughs> you're exactly uh, one of those people i'm different i can fix them oh lord that's what he's doing Jesus. Well, I just realized, I didn't realize this is something that Heinrichs has. The Psyker's Psy rating is increased by one until the end of combat every time an ally uses a heroic act. Oh, nice. That's strong. Yeah. Here's the other thing, though. I think I'm going to keep this other, actually do the other one, which is enemy to adjacent to the Psyker, which is basically everything he's attacking, suffers 10, plus 10% 10 more damage. Hmm. You know, so right after a charge and all the other things. Oh man, it's gonna be fun when I do his um, do the uh, the switch him to an assassin and he does his little tripping I thing. The gold yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, they changed it so it doesn't trip as well, well as it was previously. But like, I loved it previously because it was just if even if he walked by them, they would trip. So he would do a charge and then in their tripping animation, he slices them. <laughs> it's <is> so funny. <laughs> They're just like, oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Dead. <laughs> but now it's um, if he's like standing there, as soon as an enemy walks up to him, and there's no other enemies next to him, so if like they walk to melee him, they fall over, with that ability, like nice. they have to do an agility test to fall over. And he did that to like a giant thing, and it was just clunk. I'm like, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, no, we don't know where we go. Uh, now we just leave, I think. Yeah. Now we go. Right. Home. We looted the bodies, we did our things, we saved the place, we can go get some profit factor up, Victory and then um, go buy some more stuffs. So, that is one thing. Um, once we go report that we've finished the Synobium, our practice factor does go up. Nice. And we have more shit that we should probably throw into cargo. Indeed. So, one thing I find actually kind of interesting with the trading um, since there are five things to trade with, um, basically there's only overlap, like basically uh, like the um, priest one and the um, mechanicus, they yeah. have overlap. So it's kind of like you had to kind of choose between them, but there are some things that are different between the two. Yep. So, you, Makes but sense. the thing is, if you you kind of have to choose one of them or the other to really go for, or you try to split it between both, and then you won't go as far into either one of them. Yeah. And then that happens for another case, for the other two, you know, two other ones, which I also like because then it's like you can kind of choose. And it's not necessarily you have to choose one out of the five. Okay. It, 
you will get like ben like they will be cargo that they, all of them would really like but there's like some cargo where it's like yes these guys prefer this cargo over this cargo or more importantly the um priests and the techs there's some cargo that they will never accept and that goes into the other two guys okay and there's some cargo that they'll never accept that goes to the other two and then of course the fifth one it re- only k- takes one type of cargo that none of the others take yeah i do like that ah heinrich welcome trip. to my office yeah <laughs> i was somewhat brusque at our first meeting and I would like to make up for it by expressing my thanks for your assistance in the electrodynamic scenario. Come to the fancy office, Your say. arrival yeah. could not have come at a better time. Unfortunately, my personal investigation has hit a dead end. I think I will have to call <laughs> upon outside resources to uh, Okay. <laughs> Red, you have to actually make a choice if you want to go full heretic or not. I, I don't want to go full heretic. Yes. Yes, there can be no mistake. Such a powerful weapon of destruction. Why have you decided to part with it now? Uh... This artifact frightens me. I would like to use it, but I don't want to lose it. Very insightful. In the hands of mortals, objects like this... I think that if I give it to him, I might be able to get it back later. I doubt it. You've avoided such a we will see. Because Heinrichs here is one of those morally gray guys. Thing. The Lord Inquisitor gave me this item some time ago. Uh, he must have thought it this is where you could flirt that I with would him. find myself aboard this vessel sooner than he. I was instructed to deliver this device to Lady Theodora. However, given recent events, I believe I ought to present it to you. This is an elucidator, a sacred machine capable of translating the languages of remote and lost worlds into low Gothic. It can even process Xenos languages to a certain degree. Not without infelicities, but possibly well. Just what I say. Um, Certainly oh. not. <laughs> the elucidator is such a rare and complex Just what I say, what? creation of the So, um, to small, if you're I playing like a female character, the option on that last integrity. one... He had the option to say, oh, what a strange love token to give us for the first time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And he just, he completely just goes, uh, mm, you know, like, he's like, uh, like, just, it puts him totally just, like, caught off guard. Should I give him the blood oh, no. shard or should I hold on to it? <clears throat> I mean, if you already gave him the sword and he's not giving it, give it to you back. It's weird that I have this option now. Hmm. I suppose it could have some connection to the object of my search. I would like to offer my assistance in resolving your immediate problems. Okay. It all depends on the electric. So he's just so wholly bewildered. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I might still have the picture in um, the Discord that I sent to you, Red. You've definitely sent it to me a couple of times. Yeah, and well, I mean, more recently, so it might be easier to find kind of thing. Congratulations on the victory, your lordship. The entire vessel waits impatiently. The entire vessel was impatiently awaiting the news of your expedition success. The rumors about you... Not simply saving the text priests, but actually eliminating the source of the mutiny are spreading like wildfire. Yay. There, I just posted it in the chat. It's a strange choice for your first love to- to- token, Heinrichs. It's not it, It's not a love token, Lord Captain. It is a rare and valuable device that will be a useful tool in the hands of the rogue trader. Perception tests succeed. Heinrichs cuts you a glance, one of which you suddenly realize is charged with a strange, almost personal interest before oh my God. differentially averting his gaze. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. I just also found another one that I have to send you, Small, is how he looks in my um, world right now. And I have no idea how I got him to look like this, but this is his current look. I can know. hear them laughing through my <laughs> wall. <laughs> I don't know oh, how. Wait, where did you what? send this? I want to see it's it. In it's in the. It's in this our stream chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did it, and I hope I can do it again because it's hilarious. Okay, say. <laughs> He's just like That's got the choice. sunglasses on. He's literally just dressed like a man in black. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's full men in black. All right, right. We're all watching you now. Yeah, I was getting crap out of our inventory that we didn't need. Oh, yeah, getting into the vault. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do in no, here. No, you just leave. Now it's just the gimmick. Now you could talk to him on the bridge. Um, I think for the live stream portion of things, you will, I will, okay. Yeah, you'll do, will, you'll do that talking um, with small. We'll come uh, back to that if like we complete a playthrough and like we want to do like yeah, more yeah. of that stuff. But it's more of so um, you know, you'll be already doing that with small later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's the question: Should I talk to High Factorum, this guy, and start trading? You can start yeah. trading. I like to order the shipping um, and transportation of some goods. Number six. Number six. Do I need to move some things to cargo first? No, you shouldn't be. You need to. Usually you can put things into cargo. Oh, God. Ah. You good? Fuzzy? 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 I think Fuzzy got taken by the warp. Apparently. What? what? Oh, there I you are. <laughs> okay. That was weird. What happened? Oh, no, I your think your mic, mic is dying, dude. No, my mic's showing fine on the um, Discord. I mean, so you started Apple. talking, and then it just went, <laughs> but like way higher pitched and angry. That's weird. Uh, so who, who do we want to trade with? Explorators. Yeah, let's first start with Explorators. I think we can only trade with the Explorators for right Oh now. wait, you know what we need to do first? What? We need to actually go um, say, hey, we did it. So that way um, that they... Um, oh, yeah, our, our, our value goes up. Yeah, our profit factor goes up. Okay. If for a minute there, there was blood on the wall that was just fading away. I saw Don't worry blood. about it. The ship's not haunted. The ship's definitely blood. not haunted. I saw blood on the wall. It's just staring at this. This is like, shoop. And I was like, ah. Definitely <laughs> super not haunted. One thousand percent not haunted. Probably, most likely. Uh, is Heinrichs gonna be your main man now? I'll keep Heinrichs. Yeah. I could just do a little bit more crowd clear with Heinrichs um, at the moment compared to Argenta. Argenta gets better once she has a heavy bolter. It's so weird that you heard the, like just a high pitched thing. I'll I'll have to cut back to my stream I, because you know, it was like I wonder if my stream hears it because if my stream doesn't, doesn't then that means it's Discord and not. Oh what yeah, but it's Down. it's definitely not like a one person thing because it is uh, me and Small both hear it. Yeah, well, that's why it's uh, weird. It's like it must be Discord sending my audio through like that. Something fucked up on the audio. So I just talked to the governor, right? Yes. Medina. Yeah, you just don't say that I'm ready for the ceremony. See, profit factor gained. And nice. six experience. I have other uh, business. I have other business in this system. Fuck you. Um, so if we go back, so here's the thing. If you go back to the ship, we could at least trade with also the- um, The pirates? Pirates. Yeah. Because they currently have some boots that you would absolutely love on either Abelard or Heinrichs. It reduces the charge by one for action points. Hmm. Those are boots we used to be able to get in another place, and I remember putting those on Abelard on my first playthrough, and I was like, oh, this is so powerful. I think I know what boots you're talking about, too. Because the Nemena like... boots. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that until it's too late, so um, I never traded high enough with the um, pirates to get it on my current playthrough. However, now that they've added the ability for... Um, for the warriors that on parry they can um it, re it reduces any of their archetypes actions by one my charge is a lot of times one now nice yeah so it's like okay it they at least gave us another ability here's what i'm gonna do real quick we care about these uh bolters no no one else can carry them but Argenta, and Argenta's already um, got her equipment. Uh, why is that one specifically called a charge staff, but this one's called a, a psychic staff? Oh, because that one gives you plus five willpower. Weird. Uh, I think that's...
that's everything. So let's go trade. Do, 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 do. Tech priest or pirates? Well, we could buy everything in the tech priests. Oh shit. That we don't have to actually give things to them yet. Ceramite Stormtrooper Carapace. Yeah, you can give heavy armor now to um, Avalar. Awesome. And then we can uh, do some reputation here. So that tradable. The first grenade looks like a grenade, looks like a soda can you've wrapped rubber bands around. <laughs> kind of does. <laughs> there we go. We have traded. Cool. Up to level two. All right. We'll see what we got. I'm just currently buying everything for us. We can't get the Numo boots. Yeah. Quite yet. Um, are you able to trade anymore? Um, I don't. I so I clicked select tradable. Okay, let's go through the inventory, see what we can. Um... Here, can I sell them? Oh no! First, let's see. Um, some of these things we probably want to actually put on people. So let's um first go through inventory and see who who should get what. Yeah. Can you guys do anything in inventory while you're here? Um, I can do it right now. Yeah, I'm in okay. inventory right now. So what weapons did we get? Avalar can put that heavy armor on, so you should give Avalar that um, heavy weapon. Avalar. Yeah, Avalar. You're about to look really cool, my guy. Okay, with what I have, I think, unless someone thinks I need, unless it, like, would benefit or something. I mean, just if anything in this new uh, lineup interests you. Yeah, since there's some new things. Heinrich will get the one for pairing since he's the Mr. Uh, Dodge and Parry. Small, can I... You should get uh, bolter proficiency so that way you can use bolt pistols. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because you, tiny small with a bolt pistol is... Commissar. Is, is, yep. Commissar small. They need their bolt pistol. Yep. I'm just doing some um, of the checks. Uh, dodge reduction to the wearer's melee. Mm, stalker gloves. Gloves of endurance. Injury or falls unconscious. Their allies gain plus one bonus to damage. I feel like that should go on to Abelard. He's kind of, you know, yeah, that okay. guy. Um, I'm going to give him this. Oh, wait. I'm going to give him this because we're going to set him on fire and he's going to go in and just fuck shit up. You know, for Abelard? Yeah, I gave him the phantom cloak. So now he takes less damage against warp damage. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds good. All right. Oh, uh, well, I guess let's go have a party. Wait, 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 we can still trade. Oh, we can still trade? Yeah. Red, this Hi, is our right? last chance to trade. If you want those okay. Nimono boots, you have to get them now. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> this. that's why I said I was locked out, because I was at this stage, and I couldn't sell enough items to get ah, I didn't know that they didn't show up later. No, whatever items are in this trade are only um, for this act. Each okay. act's um, weapons are different. I think I noticed that even... Um, when I started Act 4, all the items from Act 3 or Act 2 were not there in Neat. the trades. Uh, so, I did not know that. Yeah, so that's why it's literally you have to kind of go, whatever is in there, you kind of have to make choices what you want to go for because you might never see it again. All right. Um, the Act 4 might be that they have some of the ones from Act 2, because, but this one, hell no. So, Thunderfang. Mm -hmm. Reputation, select tradable, does not select anything. Um, we should put some of the things that are currently in the inventory um, on the right into it because you can probably th give them some melee weapons. What should we, just melee weapons? They yeah. like melee weapons, yeah. See if you can get some melee weapons. Since there's a shock mall in there too, that, you know, or, yeah, power mall. Uh, tradable. You might be able to get some armor kit too, but if you throw some of the armor that we're not, that no one's using. Is I've already thrown all that armor in. No, there's... I don't know, for all I see is Sanchez's trusty carapace. I see his sin skin. I see some gloves and some helmets. That's all armor, man. Is there any point in taking Actually, the wait. Sin skin? Yeah, the sin skin... No, that sin skin? I mean, it gives you plus 5% dodge of the wears. Actually, I should check that. I I don't know why my character's not wearing it, so never mind on the sin skin. Uh, so this gloves... 
I just realized it says wa- Mechanicus Creations cargo for that one. Do you not want gloves, by the way? I already have gloves that I need. All right, so cargo list. Can I just trade things from here? Maybe. Nope, that just puts it in my inventory. Did not want that. Yeah, I think it's just more of if you wanted to verify whether or not. Uh, so it just says select tradable. I can't really sell anything else. Uh, can I, the merchant's not interested in this cargo. How about you sell, put the faux hammer. We don't need the modified last gun. No one's using it. We already have enough. Well, the well-maintained sniper rifle. I guess no one's using that either. So yeah. Click. click. No one's using the auto gun. And we I don't mean, want the modified last gun. Don't want the modified last gun. Like plasma gun? Oh, we already have it on um, Ablard. Faux hammer you don't need. The blast wave, no one's using. We'll keep the pistol, bolt pistol. Now, it should hopefully give us at least one ranged weaponry. Fuck. Okay. Oh, wait. Even if it gives us one ranged weaponry, guess what? It's not enough. Uh, maybe I could give up a melee weapon. No, at, the, at this point, um... Well, hold on, hold on. Because okay. we got characters that we're not using. <laughs> Let, let's see what... Let's see if they got any inventory on them. Because she's got this auto pistol, which we could take that in place of the... You can actually sell that sun skin because um, it doesn't actually work for... Um my character because um i don't have enough agility to to get the bonus okay um ablard has a shock baton he's probably not going to use who had the auto pistol auto pistol uh you can sell the um, flame grenades from cassia if it would I don't want to level her up. I just want her fucking inventory, please. Right, your system is a little bit weirder than mine. <laughs> I just go straight to inventory. I just go straight, cool. Let- inventory, and it gives me the inventory of everyone, and I just go through the inventories. Let's see if this will work. Yeah. I like it. We're literally just trying to get one more. Um, 150 is what we right. need. So on first, I'm, remo- I'm pulling the bolt pistol back in. Just in the off chance that we might be able to salvage that. There we go. Okay, we have enough. Select tradable. Trade. And now... Why? Have you done the trade, or...? Yeah, I just did the trade. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I was gonna say, I haven't seen the reputation go up. There we go. Now the reputation's up, and I can start buying everything. The only thing we can't get is that metal. Oh, right, yeah, because um, we have the private factors too low because of um, spare characters. Oh, well. Yep. What Stay does that metal do? Oh, uh, man. It's a pretty good one, but... Yep, that it would. That's a... Wow. That's actually kind of sad. I even missed out on that one, too, on my run. Uh, and there's no real way for us to get that. Nope. There, There is no way, period. We've gone as much profit factor as we can. Uh, so let's give a blood is boots that is some medium armor i might actually take that on my character yeah that's a go ahead uh, the only other person who can benefit from medium armor is argenta but she doesn't care about the parry bonus it gives uh da, 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 da. ablard gets a great sword uh but, so let's see Although base armor property increases with my psi rating. Does that give me better armor? Base armor property increases the psi yeah. rating? Is that what the armor says it does? Yeah, although this... I think this one's just giving me better. This seems like it's just giving me better. Okay. Now mm-hmm. we are ready for our party. Yep. The 
Big ass party. Big ass party. Who likes big parties? We like big parties. But we like the biggest. If it, me party. if it makes you feel any better, a lot of people chose not being able to close doors. <laughs> is there is there a reply? Well, cause think how many doors you have to fucking open every single day. Yeah, I my logic was like, oh shit, what if I enter a store, but the doors aren't it's automatic? About time. <laughs> then I have to wait for someone to like leave to be able to like leave or like entering. So I uh, was like, oh fuck, if I enter a store, I'll never be able to like leave. I'll take it from here. I just saw that the, there was like a solitary um, tech priest <laughs> like on one of the shells. I was like, wait a minute, just prayed over there. it. <laughs> Well, I did do this um, thing, so it's like I just realized in the text box I can read the past text of it <laughs> once we're loaded in. So, interesting thing that I discovered, um, you, since you know how you can look at the log, yeah, it's from the whole everything in the log is not just um, this from your last save. I'm getting things from when I was playing today before I even huh. joined. A solitary Wait. young tech priest is offering ceaseless prayers to the machine spirits of the command center. Yeah. Yeah, because I suddenly was like, "Wait a minute, we don't have one of those characters in our party." And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm getting, literally reading dialogue from." <laughs> Your lordship, peerless lord von Valentius, I am the master of ceremonies of Rykat Minoris. Everything is in place for your triumph. Allow me to give you a brief summary of our upcoming event. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> your your governor's incompetent. I expect no better from you. <laughs> you will take the road, now familiar to you, from here to the starport. You'll be accompanied by your comrades in arms and a guard of honor. The body of the heretic known as the Prophet Aurora will be pulled in your wake as a battle trophy. A stop is planned in the middle of the road. There, grateful citizens will rush towards you, praising you for your salvation. Not to worry, though, this is thoroughly choreographed interlude. Uh, the group of the Grateful will be composed exclusively of loyal citizens vetted by us. Members of the military, young people, attractive and physically fit. Oh, and a few healthy children. Okay. It's kind of weird you managed to gather all of that, but not repair anything. <laughs> uh, yep. And as such, uh, once they have said their praise, uh, you'll be handed a flamer blessed by a representative of the Ecclesiarchy. I do like fire. <laughs> um, and you'll burn the hair. You can spot. choose to personally perform the burning, but if you wish to underscore the amicable alliance between House Valencius and House Winterskell, it'll be fitting to pass the honor of burning to Governor Med Medina. Uh, also, <laughs> this is disgusting. I don't want a stage show of gratitude. Allow the ordinary people to speak to me or skip this farce altogether. Sweet. Glad you chose that. <laughs> Uh, my sincerest apologies, Your Lordship. No thought could be further from my mind than incurring your anger. Let the ordinary people through you say i'll see what can be done you just need to repair the fucking streets you fucks i think they also, do <laughs> kind um, of no, but, like, if you look i mean at it, i guess we're just look at this repair. this lamp post is here on the ground still yep, all the, there's still rubble everywhere oh, yeah. like, all this yeah. shit's still fucked fuckers you, you didn't bother repairing anything you were just like oh no we'll repair it by just look, driving this tank forward and crushing yeah, all the rubble look, we get to ride a lehman russ <laughs> Also, uh, I'm curious because I realized that I don't have Adira yeah, in our party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm guessing you didn't have Adira in your party when you did this, right? Nope. It's interesting because uh, Adira's. I'm wondering if we're going to get the same thing that Adira gave us. Well, I mean, you don't get um, Adira's thing. Uh, if, if Adira's not there, you don't get Adira's thing. No, I, I'm just curious to see how this is going to play out now. Hello, your lordship. Glory to you. A motley group I, of modestly dressed people. Yes. I, I misread that. I, I, I read it as a motley group of just, like, dre depressed people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are depressed. I, I read I mean, it they, as depressed. Some of them are depressed. Some of them are Much less of them are depressed because we did kind of do good. Yeah, we did kind of look through like, you holy know, shit, I, you saved us. <laughs> I just, I read it as depressed people. And I was like, ah, oh, damn, these poor people. Oh, those poor people. 
For whatever reason, you know for certain that right at this moment, the gaze of Aurora's dead, empty eye sockets is fixed upon the back of your head. A thought surfaces in your mind, not a voice inside your head. No, a mere thought. They are all going to die, befuddled, deprived, never having seen the truth. And it's all because of you, enemy of mine. Can I just throw her off the side of a cliff? <laughs> just eat the dead body. Uh... But their oh, trained dis discipline prevails and they turn towards the spectators preparing to lead the crowd away. A grimace contorts Heinrich's face. The interrogator lifts a hand from his temple as though struck by a sudden migraine. What? Aurora, full Jedi. Behold, behold, <laughs> the final dawn. All right, cutscene. Adira gave you a warning. Um, it does the exact same thing, but Adira's like, prophecy, yeah. behold. Yeah, some, something bad's gonna happen. Okay, Adira. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Adira, she's just like, nobody ever fucking listens to me. Oh I'm no, it's not, it's, it's more of a, just like the, okay, you know, like I'll react, <laughs> like hear me, I'm prepared for it. It's just, it's still gonna happen. <laughs> I've got my guard up, what's gonna happen? Bad. <laughs> I know, but is there any other bad? It's always bad. Okay. Here, dear, here's your crack so you can get. Are you watching the cutscene, by the way, yeah. Small? Yes. I love the guy just. Appear oh, he always just appears for me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, he kind of appeared for me. The other dude just like slid fucking down the stairs. Wow. <laughs> Oh no, it's just like Destiny 2, where they've trapped the sun. Yes, trapped. Okay, cool, Pounce. You've gotten up there, and now you've trapped yourself. <laughs> What's your intention? Meanwhile, cat chaos. <laughs> Yeah, dummy. Now you're looking like you don't know where you're gonna go. You 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 knew there was nowhere to go. Oh good, it's dark. Yep. I mean, you did lose the sun. Uh... Hey, Red. Do you yeah. see who this is? Fanatical old man. Notice that he recognized his model. Uh, who is he? He's the guy that you decide to keep alive after he was torturing his family and stuffs. Oh, he came. Is he on our side? Yes. Oh. He's the, that's why I said I'm glad you selected the whole like be with you, you know, like to allow the the people. It's because he kept him alive and now he's here. It's really cool. It's like one of those little things of. I love, uh, it, like like, it's just so well done. Yeah, it's like Every that's time. an actual thing of, of oh. differences. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go on this side. Don't worry, the and tank's I'll got growing a mouth. Don't worry about that. Take Ablard with. Is the tank growing a mouth? Eh, there's something that looks like teeth almost. Now it's disappeared. Oh. I was about to say, oh shit! No, not like it. You know, just the slight changes. Nothing full yet. Also, uh, small, don't put your people in that. Purple. purple fart cloud. No, of, I had a feeling. <laughs> I, think so. I think that you could tell enough that that's chaos badness. I mean, considering they're dead, it's above dead people's bodies. I imagine it's not good. You'll see some of the enforcers go through it. Oh, wait. Oh, it would help if I clicked start battle. Yeah. Hmm. I thought I already clicked that. I did not. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm done with this one. <laughs> 
the ragdoll physics in this game is surprisingly well done also because like they're actually like look at that they're actually like rolling down the stairs <laughs> yeah oh um one of you is like you know acolyte cultist fire starter leader of the cultists here you go Oh, wow, you have actually a lot of health. You might actually survive this. Yep. No. Yeah, it's not like my um, primary character who does like hundreds of damage. <laughs> or, uh, Toast. Toast. <laughs> Goodbye, leader. Oh, the pillars have eyes and teeth. Yeah. I can cast this on someone. Who's Sometimes on fire? Uh, those eyes and teeth you'll even see on the tanks. Who is on no fire? One's, no one's on fire. I guess no one's on fire. The person who was on fire died immediately because he went toast. <laughs> well, now he is toast. I am your doom. Just a minor setback. Where did I get this temp help from? I don't know. Maybe started it? Maybe Avalar gave it to you at the start? I don't know. Except Avalar uh, doesn't have it, so it's weird. Huh. Oh, I wonder if it's my armor. Maybe. Let's see. Thing is, I've never actually done this with the um, healthy people, so I have no idea how they actually how the healthy people fight with you or not. Also, I think it's stabilizing factor that you want to give him so that way he's not, um... Did I ever give him stabilizing factor? I don't know. I don't think you did, otherwise he wouldn't be, uh, ramming up the degradation. Oh, for, for the Psyker. That's what you mean. Yeah. I mean, I was honestly just giving him other abilities at the moment, too. <laughs> oh, no, it's just a really good one for Psychers, because especially if you don't want to deal with the veil. Oh, bye, captive. Yeah, no, the captives just kind of leave. They don't have weapons. Oh, God. That, I think, did I see what I said that said? Self-sacrifice. Yep, you did see that. Yep. Avalard, go. Cool. Think, by the way, self-sacrifice, a creature explodes dealing 18 impact damage to anyone in a two cell radius. Jesus. Avalar. Tell him who we are. The funniest part? I didn't even know that was a thing. Bonk. And now you charge into the other one and bonk them? Bonk. bonk. You did reckless strike. Did you strike. just set Avalar on fire for me? That's so convenient. <laughs> you did reckless strike, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yep, that makes them automatically <laughs> shoot you if you um, if they survive. Let's see if this has the range. I should have used this first because it, it, it actually uh, it gives buffs now. Oh. Yeah, you know, I could just have him start bonking. doing his. Yeah, I'm just gonna have him go go bonk. Start, start bonking. That's that's his thing. I just I love triggering his thing. It just runs around, and start bonk happy. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Hello. I'm Ablon. Let me tell you who we are. Bonk. I'm Mr. Bonk Man. Mr. Bonk Man. Give me a bonk. <laughs> Dear Bonk Man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pascal. Let's go. Bonk. Uh... I'm going to murder this guy. Since Heinrich should be able to hit the other guy, I feel like. 
Pascal. Bonk. Yeah. Slap them in the pee pee. Bonk. <laughs> Jeez. Just the little That's bit of him that went flying. I'm so glad that they finally decided to make them smarter to not... Oh shit, that guy just... Uh, good job, Pants. Death to the weak. So graceful. Chaos guides me. But I'm so glad they finally made it so that way they, the, the AIs are set to not, like, just burst fire into groups all the fucking time, which... Yeah... You know. Come on, old man, throw your thing. There we go. There we go. Well, all right then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I was, that's why I was like, I really like having him here because he just goes, oh, hey, um, enemy that just showed up here. Oh, hey. They got reinforcements. Yeah, they do, they just show up here. I was about to say, I'm like, man, we're tearing through this. Maybe we should up the difficulty. I found Nice. Hey, Small's also on fire. Yes. But of course. I don't think I want to permanently set Small on fire, though. Psychic abilities to use. I don't think I'd be able to do very well with it. I won't object to it. We are back real quick. I serve the ruinous powers. Let's see. Here. Well, I know you like your fire starters, Red, but I'm still going to shoot that one. Six my <coughs> They've set Ablord on fire, that's all I need. Well, he's gonna go potentially add more fire, but he's gone. Okay, I'm back. Damn it, Ablard, are you like just out of range? Potentially, yeah. He's just, he's behind a pillar and I can't give him his nice little fire buff. <laughs> Oh. There we go. Uh, is there any particular... Oh, this could help. Or not. Wow. I'm impressed, Baron Rabude. That was a terrible showing. <coughs> I guess he was also just He's a terrible right there and I can't set him on fire. Red, I'm guessing it's more of just how it was targeted because your five, seven shots, they all rolled well. Weird. Yeah. <clears throat> they all went in a str I think they went more too far in a, like too straight line maybe for the thing. <clears throat> Alright, fuckies. Uh, who? Uh, I can at least make small take half damage. Oh, I Bonk. Thank you. Uh -oh. oh, unfortunate. That is fine. Yeah, I think your corner is all right. So behind the tank and over on our side, where all the enemies have gotten off to. Yeah, Heinrich no, did a lot yeah, of murder. No, I quick. was. Um... <laughs> Small with a shock rifle.
Could maybe shoot that guy. Yep. Yep. He took an outie. Also small, if you in, end up engaging in melee, you deal fire damage now. Emperor, protect me. Like Avalar's about to do. Well, I was gonna do, I was gonna see if maybe I could do get back in the fight, but I can't do that all myself. Unfortunately, Abelard's not gonna do that because he's, uh, he was hiding behind a pillar. Oh, well, he can at least make this guy who's standing next, uh, sitting next to him praying, no longer praying. That was brutal. Yeah, I was trying to stop that dude from praying. Yeah, but, you know, Abelard was there to say, no. Abelard! Abelard? Abelard! Abelard. <laughs> you can see why I like doing the little needle pistol on <laughs> the little needle ring. It's just sometimes you just do something like that. <laughs> Just that one free attack. <laughs> uh, also, that gave him like full movement. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. I don't know what gave him full movement. Something gave him full movement. I know there's something that he has that can Is something, do if that. He, like if he gets a kill, he'll get free full yeah. movement? Yeah. Like it has a chance to give him I'm that. <clears throat> well, that forcer was on fire, so they died. As long as we don't, don't lose... worry, they, they, they're supposed to die. They're the gum and the shred of the tanks that might stop the tank. Hopefully the fanatical old man doesn't die. Yeah, we like him. I could, uh... I mean, I honestly, he'll, he'll... Make his burning not hurt. Well, we'll see what happens anyway. He might even just go, I'm no longer burning. Fuck all this shit. I'm too angry to die. <laughs> That's rude. Terrible shots. Out of my way. Death to the weak. <laughs> well. Look out. That was a choice. Oh, hey, that's his wife, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, old man, I can save you at least. Oh, you want to pray, buddy? I've got a lot of people praying around me. Not for long. You know, the funny thing is, is that you flirting with him and him being bewildered makes it seem like you might have never been given a gift before, and he's the first one to give you a gift. Hey, blah. It, it, it's it's also it's more of he's he's not used to people being nice to him. Ah. He so comes sad. from a he comes from a night world. Oh, yeah, that too, yeah. I uh, and that. he's a psyker. So he basically came from medieval... A medieval world. Okay, which I figured... I, I didn't want to... Yeah. Considering knowing this fucking place, I didn't want to assume night world meant, like, medieval. Night worlds are interesting because they're, like, a medieval feudal place, but, like, also they're not. And I will just say this more of... He be, once he became known as a psyker, his world basically just said, "You, they don't, they don't care about him anymore." Yep, uh, oh, the, it, it was the equivalent of him being a witch. Yeah, and and also he's works for the Inquisition, which you know, Spanish Inquisition. You know, basically like <laughs> you know, yeah. no oh, one right, likes that. So. Okay. Uh, you should be. Uh, okay. I don't think. Oh, you could tell Ablard to bring it down, and he might be able to bring it down. Or you can give him the heroic act, and he'll definitely do oh, yeah. fuck up, up and everything. Because that's the last guy alive, so if you oh, get him... Oh, the... here to set shit on fire. He's out of range. Uh, then give him the heroic act. Yeah. Or I finest hour. He's, he's, he's also out of range for that. Oh. Can you give him voice of command? No, it says unlimited range. You should be able to use it. It just says I can't. It just says, it's just like showing that I cannot do that. The fog might be... Oh, Maybe wait. Him. I don't think we've actually reached our momentum high enough yet. Oh, uh, we're just right there? Yeah. Rip. Yeah, we're at 175 momentum. 
0.176. I think we just we're just barely not it because I just realized it's not glowing okay. properly. It's just kind of glowing, but it's like nah, it's not. Do what you want, small. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Is If you just want to end your turn, Abelard or Pascal's up next, and he can just gun that guy down. I'll do what it takes. Or it's Abelard's turn. Or it's Abelard's turn. And he just goes, no. Fire! <laughs> Lord Captain, this is Master. Please film it. Victus, what's going on? Uh, inside my exposed mind, I am a psyker. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Otherworldly cacophony, which now, until now resembled the rumbling of distant cannons, suddenly swallows you with its full intensity. Intensity, The warp energy seemingly burst out of thin air, rushing inside your exposed mind like an unstoppable wave of filth. For a moment, it feels like your head might explode, but then the sensation retreats leaving in its wake a different one that of someone's touch on your temples jeez this is definitely stuff i don't get because of not having a psyker uh or having him say this and shakes his head as if trying to drive away whatever is assailing him a simple solution to stabilizing your condition keep it together do not give it even to the force trying to take hold of you you told me my faith was false. You made me turn away from Aurora. Now what do you say, rogue trader? Who was right? Here it is, the final dawn. Uh, bitch, I'm still right. I saved you! <laughs> dawn or no dawn, I'll die before I let those eyeless freaks maim me, so keep quiet and do as his lordship says. Well spoken, old wife. <laughs> right. Are they going to send a shuttle for us? Uh, We're en route to the starport. Uh, it, it start evacuate uh, the calm falls silence many eyes stare at you uh, iconoclast we're not abandoning people in distress everyone come with us uh, there sure will be it looks like some of my former comrades are still in the loose almost robotic interesting a sense of alarm is now almost physically drilling through your temples. The fleeting little whispers at the edge of your hearing are sinister sinister and gleeful. Uh, uh, all we can do now is make to the starboard. Bad news, but not unexpected. It's uh, okay, we can keep going. I believe in it. That's it. Let's move out. We loot do you want to loot people real quick? Yep. There's some flames and things, stuff we can sell. Come on. Or if they're of decent value, of stuff I can use. Look, as long as it's not Nope, they're just hand flamers. Yeah, it's, it's a green. bunch of shit to sell. Run. You know what's funny? Soylent Green is definitely something that exists in 40K and is definitely something that we just, you know, acknowledge and accept. <laughs> I like how um, uh, there's just... an anointed cultist and a fire starting cultist oh, down those stairs. Ideas. Yep. By the way, um, there was totally a um, <laughs> an enforcer still alive. He managed to survive. Nice. Oh. Hey. He has an injury good. on him. <laughs> it's like I could heal him My for no reason. <laughs> oh my god! I could just go. I could heal you. I don't know why, but I can. <laughs> I could heal you. It won't make you feel better, but it'll make you feel emotionally better. <laughs> well, I can heal you. You're still going to die, but <laughs> I can at least heal you for now. You're not coming with us for some reason, so sorry. Just stay here and cease to exist to me. Be Do you want to join the rogue trader? <laughs> he just goes, nah. Basically, be Um. Is there any value in checking places out? No, I don't think there's any new items to hide. Enemy mine, that's Did so Did we possessive. find the plasma gun? That's later. Okay. You vanquished Twilight, but you cut down Aurora. You, but she was only one of us. From the depths of dead stone, from his prison of cold metal, he will rise. The hour is nigh. Okay. All right, we got it. 
Yeah, since this is like the streets right now, you can open up the map and see there's nothing like listed as that. Do I detect doubt in your voice? Don't walk through the farts. No, I'm trying not to. My character walked close to it. I was like, fuck. I'm always ready. <laughs> Ah, look, a cultist. I a slight pressure in the Thanks for going to trigger all those that chaos is... spawns. Oh, God. Yep, three chaos spawns in this battle. Always happens. Uh... Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> I, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> three, always. I didn't even want to move up this far. Abelard over here was like, I got this. Yeah, that's why I was like, you saw, I don't know if you noticed, I was slowly starting to inch up. <laughs> Because you have shot them before, right? Oh, yeah, I know. It's almost as if I've done this all. more than once. More than twice. <laughs> Oops. No, I wanted to. I didn't want to do that character. Yeah. Why do we all have, um... I'm curious. I wish I knew where these temporary wounds were coming from. Is, is that my armor? It's only certain characters are starting with it. These Abelard, your um, Baron, and um, Pascal have it. Everyone has an option to reposition if you want to reposition. But also, now everyone has plus 10 weapon skill. Well, I, that doesn't. Do much for me, but hey, I can at least put iron rings here. I need a foothold. Sorry, what? Well, yes, I have. That's I my just... uncle. How'd you know? I prefer the king in yellow, unfortunately. He's also my uncle. How'd you know? I got two mouths, from, one from each of them. Wow, that uh, person I... ran. It's like, kind of hard to believe, considering Cthulhu usually Cthulhu gives you tentacle mouths. But you know what, Shay? Oh, look, one of my mouths is a tentacle, the other's a mouse. This is not how that works for Shay. And I've got these neat little lobster claw hand arm things. Who, who am I to argue with the fucking, like, what Cthulhu, which, how Cthulhu would fuck up someone? Nice. Just get that person out of there. All right. Let's not waste time. <laughs> <laughs> Zero damage. That's why we gave him that heavy armor. So small, that arc rifle, you don't want to use that on top of us because it will hit us. No, I know. I'm it does actually like... usually say who was going to arc to it, though. No, it doesn't? Neat. I think. Maybe. Might not. I know um, Madeira's does. You should give voice of command to Abelard and then break their ranks and then break it down. Break it down. Let's break it down. Break it down, funky. Why, Abelard, I do believe it's time for you to slap. Indeed, sir. Whoa, holy shit! Look how much damage that dealt. Also, um, small. Did you give him the um, break their ranks? I um, think so. I didn't see it on the stacks. That's why I was like, huh. Um, I could have Ablard go fuck up other people. Do we want him to? You might want to keep him the keep fucking with the chaos spawn for a moment. Okay. Uh, then I shall have him endure once more. Yeah, just in case. Uh, I did not give him... Okay, break the ranks. Okay, yeah. Basically, the idea is, um, 
you're you should always have it um to bring it down should just be the last one as much as possible yeah look at all those stacks oh he lived oh yeah no he starts um they're very resistant i think to laz and fire well that's rude and homophobic <laughs> More of just they're demonic. So they have demon armor. His demon armor gets weaker the more damage he takes, though. So now his demon armor, I think, is much weaker. Ah, uh, that's a good question. He is slowed. Uh, is that? Oh, wait. Oh, no, it suffers... It suffers plus 20% toxic and fire damage. Oh, it's the fire damage that, that it hates. It's the um, last weapon, I thought, maybe. Um... Maybe it's energy stuff that it resists. Also, sir. Oh, you know what? That's the Zinch things that resist Laz weapons. Ah. Yeah, it's that one has 70% of its total wounds is 50% armor. 70 to 40 has 40% armor. And that. Jesus, they're stabbing Heinrichs. He doesn't care. I've suffered worse. <laughs> I've heard Sorry, worse. Ablod! Yeah, now he can go after the other two chaos Ablod! spawns. Ablod! <laughs> All right, send him at the other chaos spawns. <laughs> uh, he would not be able to reach them if I used his heroic ability, so I'm going to not do that. Okay. Uh, I will, however, have him endure. So that way his fire damage does nothing to it. <laughs> he started the round at 60 health. He is still at 60 health even after burning. Laws. I want to object to it. <laughs> Stupid has to go around the corner so they didn't like I that. Know. Um, do you want Ablard to double back that? Yeah, because those guys are gonna come to us. Yep, they're gonna come back. That's it. We could just go team. down there and throw a bunch of fireballs at them. I could. Um. Oh, this is not ideal. You got some hits. I got some hits. Is he on fire? Does he have warp burn? He does have warp burn. Hey, buddy. Take your fucker right out of my range, aren't you? You ass! Um, yeah, that's gonna be my turn. Applaud! I'm curious why your character song is. It sounds become unbearably loud. Wait, what? I was trying to see if maybe you accidentally triggered perils, uh, like a, a, a psychic phenomenon thing. But I didn't see, like, it just says became, sounds became really loud for your character. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Uh, it could have been. It doesn't yeah, say, it's... didn't say use trigger phenomenon. So. However, there are prayer, there are acolyte cultists who are still praying, by the way. Yeah, their, their thing is literally as soon as their churn starts, that's when they do their shit. Their shit triggers. Um, small, if you're trying to figure out stuff to do, you could... I think the problem is smalls can't go far enough forward. True. Because there's a lot of targets that are down below. That's the harder part is getting down these stairs in time. Oh, I blood. I blood. Run. Burn, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. That's fine. I just wanted you to get there a little bit faster, Eblard. You could shoot that uh, cultist over there. Uh, pretty sure they're hit. Okay, I was gonna say they should be hidden behind cover. Yeah, hit, hit cover. on that guy yeah 
Since you, dude, are... Actually, wait. I could do this multiple ways. Make sure this guy, who's behind cover... Yep. I'll just use my guaranteed hit to just eliminate him real quick. Nice. And then I'll be able to hit that guy once I get on the stairs. The, the cultist leader. But at least the chaos spawns now and lost all of health. Don't move Heinrichs adjacent to Ablard. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, once Ablard turns up. I mean, Ablard's going to go before Heinrichs. Yes, I know. I just don't, I, I'm gonna pos, I'm gonna try and position Ablard so that way he's in between the two chaos spawns. Oh, okay, for exploding, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, he he gonna go boom. The blood freezes in your veins. Okay. Ooh, it looks like you have a nice good spot there to yeah. <laughs> squeeze I, in. I see. I see. I see the hole that Abelard should go into. Yeah, shoot those. Shoot the stairs. Oh, another person coming up? Oh, whatever. Abelard! Abelard! Uh, can I hit both of these guys with this multi thing? Like with yeah, a swing? Yeah, you should be able to have a swing that hits both. There we go. Yeah. Ablard, endure. I'm trying to see. Not quite his full health, but that's okay. Fuck this guy in particular. No need to snipe that person. <laughs> All right, uh, Blood. Explode. Tell them who we are. <laughs> oh. oh, it didn't even hurt Ablard. Didn't also do much. It didn't, which is surprising. I, th Well, at least they're both burning now, so... Uh, who do I want to keep on fire? I'm going to keep the big guy on fire. Harmomentum. 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 <laughs> like mines. Harmomentum. <laughs> you know, like how... I like how long it took us to figure out what they were actually saying. <laughs> What does he say? High momentum. He's high momentum. <laughs> because it's the whole um, momentum is the stat. And... Oh, Red, you know when we were like, oh, it should be ready. It was four away on the momentum. Nice. That's how far, well, that's how little we had to move. And we're like, it's ready, right? And it's like, no. It wasn't. <laughs> yep. Keep track of your action points. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, everyone else over there is going to be up dead. Oh, there we go. Let's get rid of this fucker. Oh, you're outside Praise my range for that? Lord. Fine. Just take that, then. Oh, they took it. Yeah. It's because I couldn't put any stacks or anything on it. Yeah. They're starting to get much more health on the enemies. Bite. <laughs> you know what I realized about the warp damage? All of their stuff counts as warp damage, so Abelard's 
DR just doubles up on warp damage. <laughs> Ablard, stop having ha, stop having your ears ring. Oh, my ears are ringing. You can do it, Ablard. Bonkus. Aw. Fine, we'll move him down here. <laughs> and then we'll do this. And then we'll do that. And then we'll go bonk the other one. And then try to start running towards the other one. Just so out there. Are they, yeah, where are they? Am I going the right way? Yeah, you're yeah, going you're up right. the right way. Yep, yep, yep yeah. there they are. Enjoy our blood. He's to give you an idea of how little he gives a shit about being on fire, he hasn't lost any actual easy. health. <laughs> His endure has just left him fully healthy the entire run. We let's cause a psychic phenomenon. A strike of terror strikes the heart. Let's see what. I'm like I'm trying to see what. Ha what is okay i don't even know what it um it said i like how he says that but i'm like i don't see any shit that actually happened i think it's just flavor text yeah because it should it could occasionally be a um psychic phenomenon happening uh baron rabude does not have a lot of options no we're all just kind of trying to get closer to this one little dude this one guy yeah one one man one person in the corner oh so close Who did so you... work. i wasn't even guaranteed a hit i was just throwing it down the line yep i mean if you can't get a line of shot you can give me bring it down and i might be able to sh hit him yep so put your buffs on fuzzy Did you move? Oh my god, they moved in a spot that I literally can't see them now. <laughs> wow. Fuck you! Wow, they literally moved in a spot we can't even see them. We have to go f go to them still. There we go. Oh, Aww. you made it so now I could line up some bonuses. Yeah. Oh, you're still in cover, you fucker. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Some leveling easy, up happening. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. A new challenge for Please me. don't be a shitty level up. It's a shitty level up. You might want to consider saving, son. Yeah, I'm going to save after our level up. Yeah. Fascinating stratagem. Interesting. I thought I remember hitting we have no higher levels than this last time I did this. Oh, hi. I didn't mean to trigger you, Aurora. This is just the beginning, enemy of mine. He comes, he comes, he comes. And now, poof, they're gone. None. Oh, shall stand my way. Oh, let's see. Any bone? No goods. No, let's see. Here's the Discord message. What's the Discord message? Telepath that. staff. Visions of doom. What does that even do? Doom. 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 I want to know. Can you share me? Uh, suffers mental damage. Jesus. <laughs> I serve the golden throne. Okay. All right, Fuzzy, it's just your level ups. Yep, I'm just going to do it real quick. Da, 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 da. All right. 
Cool. To the starport. Uh, also, quick save. I was inside of you. Ah. <laughs> oh no, the warp anomalies detected. Slip space structure. <laughs> Slip space structure detect. Uh, Halo uh, Hey, Aurora, are you gonna show up again? There you are. They're coming, one following in the other's footsteps. The Aurora of the morning, the Aurora of the evening. Okay. Are you gonna say another thing? Since this is a pretty long one, so it might be. They are coming, step after step. The eyeless followers, the voiceless heralds, the great master, and behind him, his loyal apostle. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's, it's long, so it's going to stay here for quite some time. Hear this, Hear enemy this. mine. We are mere shadows, followers. You are, are yet to meet him who has endowed us with secret knowledge. So it's definitely Zinch. No, very likely, yes. Secret knowledge. Because also, that like... is, of course, if you survive this day, the day of the coming of the final dawn. Because, you know, like blinding yourself to see, that's a strange thing. Yeah. I, and there's also, um, I think I remember getting some more information that was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely Zinch. It's about time. Like, I think I got some more things where I was just like, oh, yeah. Like, I think it was like a tome or something I got or something. I was just like, wait, this, this is full, like full on Zinch kind of thing. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like all the symbols and sigils and everything, because like Zinch is all about the eyes, and you know we're always like seeing eyes everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that, then, you know it's probably very clear that they were like, we did everything we could to t make it obvious it was Zinch, and then you were sitting there just going, it's totally this. <laughs> What's it? Who was I saying originally? I feel like I was saying Zinch though. Oh right, I was pointing out that it was the um. Chaos Undivided. I mean, Chaos Undivided is because that they do still follow the Chaos Undivided um, yeah. things. And technically, there's other... Because, like, we're going to deal with Nurgle shit later. Well, but that's, um... That Nurgle shit later is literally just some other person. That's another area. That's completely unrelated yeah, to enough. this. I guess it's different. Hey, hold on. I was going to see if I can oh, snipe shit. something oh. for you. But I can't now. I was just following behind just closely. Yeah. Uh, Red didn't remember what was coming up. Well, it's been a little while Let's since I've been here. Uh, Look at that him. man. Instigating him. shit. And Whoop. killing his own <laughs> friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shit. Heinrichs, you're supposed to be the dodgiest of us all. Just took a shot too, Avalon. You just lost a chunk of health. See, you know what's even funnier, Red? Yep. If we just looked at the bodies beforehand, it gives us the heads up. Yeah, I Ooh. guess. No, it literally give gives us that heads up. I mean, it basically says that the people, those dead bodies, are people who were clearly sniped and then um, and killed from a trap, an ambush. Actually, they actually hit me on that one. Yeah, no, these guys are actually doing some, can do some fuck ups. These are the real guys. Sort of. <laughs> it's just that they have two snipers who actually hit shit. Uh, can you hit anyone from where you are, Fuzzy? I, let's see here. There's my character. Maybe. Okay, I have some targets, yeah. Let's see here. You, I have a 95% chance. Ooh. Good. All right, perfect. Kill sniper while I was at it. Mine is disabled. 
Yeah, but clean shot, Abelard. Abelard, break it down funky style. Oh. Everyone can reposition if you would like. Don't reposition in front of Abelard. Change who I have shots on. No. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Walls <laughs> and basically being like, I can see. <laughs> Thank God I have this eye. <laughs> Damn it, Ablock! <clears throat> Endure. Nothing I can't do. Hey, agitator! Stop agitating. I'm, 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 I'm. Other dude, just fuck My off. Time is now. <laughs> There's one dude left. <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> that one sniper, unfortunately. Just barely. I cannot wait till second sight. Um, would Heinrich like to be on fire? No. <laughs> Heinrich is a, um, a dodgy person, not an armor person. Abelard. Yeah, Abelard's your like heavy armor thing. Heinrich is much more about being dodgy. His agility is much higher. Here we go. Yeah, but he does do more damage Die! whenever I set him on fire. Die! Die! Yeah, but he tends to not, you know, do as well. For, he tends to be actually hurt by your fire. Shoot him in the butt, Pascal. Damn it, Pascal. Good cry. Rolled an 84. When Small's turn started, I just got temporary um, wounds um, red. Interesting. So Small, uh, hey, I think, has something that um, gives health. Small, if you give it to Ablard, he can charge in and then on his turn be there close enough to actually fight him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have, let's see here. Yeah, voice of command him. Heck, even break their ranks is not bad to throw on. Actually, wait, no, he won't allow you to do break ranks because he has no enemies around him. I'm just checking to see what I have. Uh, if, if the noble and servant are adjacent to each other at the start of the noble's turn, they both gain temporary wounds equal to servant's TGH oh, points. That's how we noble's uh, fellowship bonus, depending upon which is higher. Okay. So that's how we both got temporary wounds then. Because you were next to me. Neat. So you made me the servant. Hey, blood. Send that Bernie bitch into them. The real thing that sometimes happens in this game, just trying to get to people from so far away. Go, Avalon. You're home. Well, you still have the ability to shoot once, right? Eblard! Damn it! You oh rolled a 99, that's why. Oh my god, you had an 80% chance to hit. Fucking Eblard! <laughs> Bad rolls. Yeah, sorry, Eblard. I think he took a little health damage, but whatever. Yo, oh, Eplard. Eplard didn't get a chance. What is it, rogue trader? Uh, the I'm kind of scared about the mines. Yep, I'm yeah. disabling mines as much as I can, so... Pascal, why? You just moved right there. Fuck. <laughs> I literally just, like, I clicked him to safety, and he just... Fucking. Yep, no, that's why it's that I just go one, I go switch to one character's control and run around to disable. I even swapped to his control and told him to move. To 
safety. Okay. Shall we? Now, time to My fair, you know, I'll everybody. grab some bodies. And then I'll grab the plasma gun here in a moment. Hey, can we save that lucky guy? I don't think I've ever been able to. Wait, wait, lucky guy? I don't, yeah, lucky. What's his name? I don't think I've seen him afterwards. Fascinating oh, ho, 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 okay. Wait, what? God, God damn it. Character's just gone. Oh, moving it. Yeah, I was checking still over here. There's still stuff to check over here. I didn't know if there's still things. Is it going to doubt in your voice? He must be gone already. Who? Lucky. Lucky. Because yeah, he might I'm, actually I'm be looking, gone. I'm looking at where shit kicks off, and either he dies or he's already gone. Yeah. And here we go. Alright, we, we, ha we have an item for um, Pascal. Where'd you find it, by the way? Where was it? Uh, was it on that guy? Yeah, that guy, dead guy right here. I never see it. Right here. The right here. This guy. Gun? Does it? Yes, the plasma gun. Put it on uh, Pascal. Yeah. It just okay. shows up as an item, as a thing to collect. I never see it. There's a lot of barrels here that I don't think they were here before. Hey, do we want to go in here? I can't remember if there's anything in here now that I'm at this stage. Yeah, we can go in there. I don't think I can't remember. I know it's different in there, but uh, I don't think there's, there's like any... people. Yeah, there's new. I serve the golden throne. Oh, goods. More med kits. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I guess you know what? I should probably use we some. Require inquisitors. We shall prevail. You know why not? Yeah, hey, I guess why not. Need a little morale boost. Your assistance. I like how I move just slightly after. It's like, I'm gonna do it, and then they're just like, Nah, no, we're not. <laughs> you have to finish the action or else nothing happens, even though I was just trying to turn the Get camera, I think. Alright, now let's put some more imp med pick kits onto my character. Oh, it's one of those ones? No, I should do one of those instead. There we go. Cool. We're good. Now we can give a good save. We have no time to lose. F5. All right. Oh, the game also automatically saves here. This is a save point. Yeah. We had to use that a lot. Run for that, Fred. Yep. We must find a shadow. What sucks too, this was when the game was still buggy, so all of our really genuinely good strategy just did not matter. Oh yeah. <laughs> this stench of Faisaline and blood blankets the starport. Echoes of shouts and gunfire drift over landing pads. The shards of plexed glass crunch underfoot. You recognize Sergeant Malgar amid the crowd huddled next to the shells. He was the soldier who greeted you upon your arrival to Rykad Minoris. A group of bloodied and frightened people is wedged between Malgar's wardens and the shuttles. You recognize them as the governor of the planet and the members of his high-ranking entourage. Their expensive attire has been torn in the fight and many bare wounds left by bayonets. Uh, ba -boya, ba -boya, ba -boya. Sergeant, where were the people who were sent to assist you from my ship? They already went back to your ship, sir. Good people, your soldiers. They helped us out, unlike this carrion. Well, I can't disagree with you. Our esteemed governor has it, and his gang of cronies have been cowering behind us, and now when things get rough, they thought they could just uh, scarper, interesting, and leave us all here to die. <laughs> That's We've missing an ad. It should be him. scamper, I bet. <laughs> unless they say scarper. Um, yeah, unless it's a 40k slang. Or British. We're British. Uh, we've shed our blood for him and broken our backs to provide for him. And after all of this, you think that's fair, you piece of grok shit? Uh, the governor spits out blood and opens his mouth to respond. When his head explodes, his body falls limp to the side, his remaining eye staring upwards. Uh, the chorus of nobles and screams cannot drown out the sergeant's spiteful whisper. You've said your piece. Madness. Punishable by death. We don't have time for this. We need to get to the shuttle now. 
Um, Sergeant Small's very persuasive though. Uh, protects all of his subjects, but surely not you. It's your duty to help anyone that you can. Not all of them, at least. Yay, more XP. <laughs> EXP. A dull thud comes deep within the starport. Heavy footsteps shake the rock creek, raising an unpleasant tremor in your bones. Time to have characters actually get knocked out. Let's see whose character gets to go down. You thought you had killed Aurora, false believers. Tremble, for I am Aurora. I am the Herald of Change. Behold the final dawn. Oh, uh, yeah. Herald of Change. Zeech. <laughs> Zeech. <laughs> That's what it was. It's like, oh. Aren't these Thousand Suns, too? Or are these word bearers? Uh, they were, whatever that thing I sent to you, that's definitely them you could see on a shoulder pad. Like, whatever I looked up one time, <laughs> that's definitely the world. It's just they usually are um, chaos undivided. It's just, I think, in this particular case, they're like, oh, yeah, that's okay if, you know, they actually have this thing. I cannot put Abelard directly into Aurora. Yeah, no one can. That's where it starts getting a little rough. Five boys is a slang derogatory name for our depths. <laughs> All right, let's see who gets shot first. Many people. Yep. Oh no, just Ablard. No, nope. Heinrich took a hit too. Ablard's still alive though. For now. Oh, he parried that. He parried that. If he hadn't parried, oh my. Hmm. Should Heinrich steal help? Oh, no, Heinrich should probably help with the, um, Aurora. That's we? interesting that Heinrich is saying farewell. If any of you somehow managed to survive, find Lord Inquisitor Kalsar and inform of, inform him of what you saw here. Basically, I'm expect he's expecting himself to die. So sad. I mean, he's fighting a um, heretic Astartes. Um, should I have him go after Aurora? Uh, maybe, because if we can get Ablar to live a little bit longer, then... Yeah, because you have a sniper that goes before my sniper, so that could down Ablar. <laughs> See who the sniper decides to go after. Ablar. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh, he missed. Ooh. Hey, hey, uh, should we have Pascal use his, his Mecha Dendrite thing on Ablard? By the way, if he hadn't missed, it would have been, um, he had, he rolled a 93. He only needed an yeah. 83 to hit Ablard and probably knock him out. Uh, Pascal has a pocket heal. Should he use that on Ablard? Um, if... Aurora won't attach, attack him just yet because um, a, um, Heinrichs attacked him. Um, remember the whole it, um, okay. Aurora attacks who last? Because Heinrichs has a heal. Um, okay. Psychic let, heal. Uh, yeah. Yep. It, because I'm going to move my character up forward to try to snipe the sniper. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to counter snipe. Well, I guess... Hey, it, as long as your character, you know, sets Aurora on fire. Also, Ablard, yeah, I was gonna say, Ablard has some health kits. <laughs> there we go. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and have us brace for impact. So enjoy your uh, chance to reposition if you want. The Emperor is on our side. Oh, it causes an opportunity attack, huh? Okay. Well then, that is not awesome. Yep, so didn't use it. <laughs> I should not have used it. Uh Need my big sword. There I mean there's a I don't it's hard trying to find any sort of slang terms in the forty with the forty first millennium in terms of the Imperium, but there is orc slang. Of course there is. 
Uh, like teeth, which is money. Yes. Yep. Also, they're teeth. Because well, their currency is money. Yeah, because their currency is teeth. Yeah, their teeth is just, it really is just teeth. There is a tribe of orcs who are super rich, and the reason they're super rich is because for some reason, uh, they just grow back their teeth really fast. So they're just constantly ripping out their teeth and growing it back. Well, I couldn't get anywhere where I'd want to. Hey, small. Hmm. Thing is, the only reason why I may be considered me is that I might be able to take the shot to finish off the sniper, since that sniper, um, like last Maybe. time, last time Damn I did it, he totally took out Cassie in one shot. Yeah, I was gonna say make Abelard be your servant, but then give Fuzzy all the other buffs. No. Well. You didn't give him voice of command. No. It's like the best one. Either way, sniper dead, which is the, <laughs> that's the one that's really important. Um, you can give voice of command to Abelard though, still. Yeah, give it to Abelard. Um, because that increases his um all of his stats, and by he'll basically get plus one extra damage now, and yeah, t plus one damage reduction technically if it they're do it that system that way. But okay, kind of so. Yeah, now we can kind of start focusing a bit more on Aurora. Yeah, like the first time I did this, or the last time I did this just recently, Aurora managed to gun down one person um, immediately. And then the sniper just took out another person with one shot. Rip. Yeah, it's just like, God damn it. And like, it was so bad. All right, Aurora is on fire for the rest of the fight. They don't even get a. They don't get tests to unfuck themselves either. I love when they do the stupid shit. What? what are they doing? Oh god, I'm on fire! Oh god! Whatever we just did caused them to completely fuck up. I love it. Let's see to it. Oh, you parried that shit? You know what? I'll heal myself. For the throne's glory. Uh, Feth is the tenth explanative for fuck. Yep. Gak is shit. There's a really funny moment in Gaunt's Ghosts where Gaunt is talking to an unsanctioned psyker who's been, like, possessed by a warp entity. And he says, Oh, Fething shit! And it's like, What's a Feth? He's like, I. I I don't know. Well, why did you say it? It felt right. <laughs> I mean, Avalo, do you want to go kill those three people over there? I mean, do we want him to do that or do we want to keep fucking up Aurora? Because Aurora's... I mean, you could kill those three people, then we could just all gangbang on Aurora. Fair enough. Where are they? Right next to you. You could, like, charge into oh, one yeah, of them and are. then sweep into the others. Like, you have a nice little spot to hit all three. So I know that you're like, why can't you see them? They're all red. I don't know. No, no. Right. Yeah, just, they're all right them. there. They all look the same. Yep. And now you just sweep. And now you use your ability to start wailing on Aurora. <laughs> we the Mechanicus prefer Kant and system code imaginary for biological ones. So Makaroth will be very shunt abort with us. All I can say is we got insanely lucky that Aurora bugged out there. Aurora got set on fire and didn't know how to comprehend that. I think it was target priority problems. I think it was trying to target um, your character because he got set them on fire, but then it went back to Abelard and it was just going back and forth, and Heinrichs was in the middle just going, <laughs> free attacks! I, even Rebude got an attack, so... <laughs> this is... This is ludicrous. <laughs> yeah, because I have the Wrath of St. Drusius on Rebute. This is so stupid. Like, that's... <laughs> we literally, I think, broke it. Oh, God, I'm on fire. 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 Get a crit, please. <laughs> oh, 
Yep. They're gonna die on their next turn from the warp burn. <laughs> not even the next turn. They're not getting a next turn. Kill them before they do. Ah. <laughs> oh. Um, you can give Heinrichs um, voice of command and then break their ranks. Uh, they only have yeah. Two, yep, that's why break their ranks is also one um point thing. See, done. <laughs> well, that well, is stupid. I mean, that is the fastest it's ever happened. They didn't even get to destroy any of the evacuation ships correct because we they we somehow glitched them into just taking a whole bunch of opportunity attacks we didn't even get a second wave of enemies praise be to the omnissiah for manifesting the statistical miracle seriously i'm grabbing some more um goodies before oh well, i guess people can unlevel up oh they destroyed our ship well yeah assholes Bad people can level up. How do I level up now? Do I pick the level 16 thing? Yep, you get to pick uh, which of those things you go into. Um, you would probably be best with Grand Strategist because that's literally just telling people what to do some more. Or you could go for Bounty Hunter, which... Um, you... Oh, also, push people um, up. isn't there another one? There's three choices. Assassin. Yeah, there's oh. also Assassin. Uh, Although for, it, for it does depend on which thing you. Oh, for Pascal, Pascal's grand strategist is the best. He's the best. That's the best one for him. Okay, because mine is Vanguard, I Master, Tactician, Grand chess. Strategist. Tactician is good for um, yours. And I have never played that one, so I have no idea how to play that one. Um, one of the things is literally um, you can just get free uh, like zero AP action that gives you free damage. Nice. Yeah, no, it, Tactician is what I do for Cassia, and it's great. wasn't sure because like what you were describing wasn't even like yeah options for me <laughs> say for grant for the tactician one and i was like uh because <laughs> like it was like bounty hunter and i was like um yeah uh, i was no like bounty what? yeah i was like what do you mean how can i be a bounty hunter <laughs> And now fuzzy. Yep, I was just checking some items since that sniper has a better sniper, I'm pretty sure, than my sniper, which is kind of insane. Yeah, his their sniper does even more damage. So I just I just got a boost in sniper rifles. Nice. That's why that person's deadly as fuck, is they can really fuck you up. Alright, now what ails you? Heinrichs. Wolves, I'm playing two assassins. My mind is focused. We must. Act. Well, shall we? Yeah. I can't believe we can actually go on the shuttle. <laughs> like, that is insane. I'm used to Aurora blowing up that sh shuttle and then just getting killed on the stairs as they're trying to go to the next shuttle. <laughs> and it's just That's like, no. <laughs> so awesome, though. We literally broke the game. <laughs> Aurora got set on fire and they're like, oh fuck, who do I fight? Who do I fight? Who do I fight? Do you know why it happened? Because you know how Aurora has their targeting thing? Well, that's what I'm saying. They were targeting yeah. Baron, but then... Um, they our... moved up to go hit him and then had enough damage to cross that threshold and like, well, shit, I got to go hit this guy. And then it just went back and forth for some reason. It was just like, what the hell? We totally had a perfect, just like, free kills. Okay. Um... Also, I'm still good to go for longer. Um, where are you feeling at, Fuzzy? Um, let's at least do the Does... next combat since we have a little bit of. Uh, I mean, that's gonna be a ways still. Or do we think that this is a good because the next uh, this uh, is the end of the act. Let's wait for the act to at least end, and then we'll decide. Yeah, okay. because we have to save. We had to get to a spot we can save. <laughs> Thanks be to the Emperor. You There's are still a lot to your happen. Lordship. Uh, before anything else, I want to hear what the fuck happened to the sun. We saw a number of ships approach the sun. Black creations of inhuman make, amalgams of sharp angles and edges. They surrounded the star and then 
I don't know how to describe it. They made it vanish. Drukari. Um. You see Abelard's expression change as if a shadow has suddenly fallen over him. He rubs his temples warily, as if we did not have enough troubles on our hands. I really like that the, oh, you have, you succeeded in knowing about the Zeno, so you're just like, the Zenos? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> like, as if, oh, I have the knowledge, but I still have to ask? <laughs> uh, I like, I like also, because this is from the lens of, Mankind, they're like a breed of the Eldari, even though Drakari technically are not a breed, they are just Eldari who did fuck shit. Yeah. Uh, like all Xenos, Drakari are a blight on the face of the galaxy, but their technological superiority is indisputable. I mean, they abhor and fear warp sorcery, which is why they rely on creations of their twisted intellect. I was gonna say, them calling them a breed also just shows how inhuman they see them as. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Uh, like you wouldn't call like another human being a breed. So it's like, ah. <laughs> uh, How but human are you gonna see them, is still my guy? Using to obey. It may be angry, or perhaps. Um. Do we have hope of retaking the planet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Must leave as soon as possible. And this so is why come to worthy of rescue. Oh, absolutely. We should rescue as many as we can. And this is why you can't um, actually um, do the um, any of the items and trade after this, because the system is completely fucked. The lives of peasants are of little value. Wrong. Peasants make the Imperium. Um, the world is doomed and its inhabitants along with it. The disappearance of the star was the final nudge towards the death the final, the finale of the cult of the final dawn's plans. It's a demon. Basically, he's like, it's turning into a demon world. I still think we could save people. Um. Somebody. Or we could destroy the planet. Also, you notice that something in your in your mind totally is, um, bristles at the passing thought of saving people. Spike of horror you feel takes your breath away. Is this if, if you're planning to steal prey? Oh, absolutely. We're going to go get some people. Uh, which of the planet's inhabitants can we evacuate? The nobles you rescued at the starport have given the coordinates of shelters where we can find surviving aristocrats and their families. Aristocrats, of course. Um, They will help to control the crowds of frightened commoners and prevent their shuttles from being overloaded. Uh, I'd much rather save people. I know. Um, I'm going to ask this for simple reason that the transformation process will soon become irreversible. Okay. Um, can we save the fusion reactor? Probably not. Why is that even an option? Uh, I mean, that's you saying, and then probably people will say no. <laughs> Iconoclast, do not forget yourself, interrogator. One more objection from you, and I shall forget all about the need to deliver you to footfall alive. Jesus. Oh. Uh. Yeah, let's go with that. Fuck you, Heinrichs. Arch enemy could infiltrate. You know what? That's fine. Uh, consider it done. It is likely our shuttles will have the capacity to evacuate some people as well. So we're saving the reactor, apparently. Um, you also, the nobles of this planet are so incompetent. So you're going for the um, commoners. I, I think that's the better choice because at least we can use them. Um, we have no more shuttles to use in this evacuation effort. I wonder uh, if that's going to come and bite you in the butt later. <laughs> so that's interesting. So we saved the fucking reactor, right? Yeah, that sounds like it. That's interesting. The bridge is an upheaval. The Technomancer's prayers. What's going on here? The warp sextant is not responding to commands. The ship's spirit is rejecting our prayers in anger. I am currently calculating a plea that might appease 
Uh, we will all perish. <laughs> Act swiftly. One of the two. Heed yeah. the word of Hamamimmon. Thank you, your lordship. You are right. Um, it coordinates like a skillful, admirably done. Uh, step up to the cognitor. We don't need to know what's going on. We just need to do. Do, do, do the do. do, do uh, do, do, the do, cyber do, do, gargoyle do. opens its mouth, the same as the gate to the warrant chamber. Prepare the incense. Omnisaya rejoice. Uh, da, 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 what must I do? Place your hand in the mouth. Uh, in viability protocol. There we go. The acolytes offer up shit. They give it USBs. Uh, <laughs> after annoying the contacts with sacred ungents, uh, inserts them into the cognitor slot. They, they, they give it floppy disks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, say nothing and do not interfere. They're like, look at this, great Omnissiah, and they just move the little floppy disk thing back and forth. There's a mass of errors. It's like, no, our floppy is corrupted. Our floppy, who brought magnets onto the ship? <laughs> uh, Nomos, stab true, stab false. Nom OS. I like you're like, Nomos, I'm like, Nom OS. For OS for operating Perturb, system. Disturb. Disturb. <laughs> you are right, say? Our Machine operating spirit, <laughs> can you hear me? Nom nom operating system. Nom nom. Um, Do you need more tasty floppy disks? Ping. Requi request response. Injury. Rescue. Query. Uh, Machine spirit. This is the Lord Captain. Oh, shit. Uh, Lord Captain, the ex excess emotion in your command will render it unintelligible. What did I even say? You said rescue. Yes, Machine yes. Spirit, rescue us. Uh, uh, Pascal's next vocalization goes unsynthesized as he sees the vid screen begin to stabilize one after the other. The strings of frenetically... Is that supposed to be, like, frantically? The strings frenetically galloping across the screen. So it's the, the like, strings. The, like, the um, little, text strings. The little wavy bits. Or text okay. strings, even. Registering warp sextant activated. I am also to report uh, evidence indicating a Category 3 miracle. Uh, just like how we had a miracle with Aurora. <laughs> that was definitely a Category 3 miracle. <laughs> uh, I've never seen a... I've never seen a, marine, a space marine panic on being set on fire, but that was pretty great. Especially because of the D Death Watch rulebook, he can be set on fire and give zero fucks. Yep. <laughs> that Space Marine failed, rolled a critical fail on willpower test. <laughs> just absolute failure. Yeah, just freaked out. Seriously, like the last time I did this, I was like, oh, I could, you know, like the changes that they've made to the game, I'm like, I could feel it that that battle was actually tougher than the first time I did it. And then we just blasted through it just now because it glitched out. I, I wouldn't even, because it did kind of glitch, but I think it's more like it did everything. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It changed its targeting priority to the person who did the most damage. But that that's supposed person to just changed a bunch. <laughs> the thing is that should only be, for, you know, their priority for that turn. It shouldn't just change in the middle of the turn. I have no idea. I don't know what to tell you, but That's, that was awesome. I would awesome. say it's unintended consequences. Because oh, wait. Because it's supposed to try... And, like, once you get them to a certain health, don't they automatically, like, try and destroy something? Um... Oh shit, would that might have been No. We boxed them in. Yeah, they we couldn't path to the thing, so they just were trying to run and we kept hitting them. Either way, we hit them in a spot where it just completely busted 
everything. <laughs> look, look, at the end of the day, we're just that good. We're him. We're just, we're just so good that we figure out a new exploit. <laughs> oh my God, I love this game. <laughs> See, this is why I was like, it's gonna be a while before we can save. So that's like, we'll finish the act. We'll finish this because all this has to happen. <laughs> It's like, you can't save until we're out of the dialogue. Yeah, Lord Captain, allow me to report. Uh, Lady Navigator informs me that we have reached the point where we can translate to real space. Uh, and her pilots are awaiting your permission to begin this process. Home to footfall, the only... I want to know what stuff we saved. Uh, Dargonis, Janus, and Kiva Gamma. Those are our planets. Um, Master Zachary Weiss has recovered an invitation for you to see a drift in the Immaterium. The Legion of Footfall has humbly requested an audience with the Rogue Trader. Um, anxious to meet as soon as possible. Okay, Footfall, the place where filth and sanctity go hand in hand. Um, I will be leaving your void ship when we arrive on Footfall. Uh, Baron Rabude, once that is done, consider the Lord Inquisitor's task complete. No! Yeah, he comes back. Vane Winterscale has asked me to convey his gratitude for your hospitality and for saving him from certain death. Not wishing to outstay his welcome, he plans to disembark at footfall. Lord of Vane swears he will never forget his debt to you. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for when we meet the orphans. That's the orphan. Oh, that's already happened. Yeah, I was oh. gonna say that's that's yeah. that's happened a long time ago. No. That's like at the very beginning of the game. Um, I wanted to see how you would say hello to them. Gosh, I, I will say this. I remember a lot of um, things about that. That one was fun. I wish we got to say hi to him again at some point. <laughs> um, do we want to arrive incognito or do we want to go loud and proud? Good with you either or. See, the thing is, I have always done incognito. Do we want to go loud and proud just to see how it's different? Let's see what happens. Next time right. on. Uh, the next Rogue time. On our Rogue Traders' decisions. We will see what happens as we now don't go incognito. We're going to go. Uh loud and proud and that's all the time we got for today uh more of this on sunday i guess yeah and uh as always more rat nights on wednesday and more shenanigans on saturday uh but there's anything? no blood on the banners <laughs> Balls. i was like wait I have to check the banners and make sure there's no just sudden blood smear well, what, what you what we really need to double check is if um the um, freaking servitors are all fucked up. I think they fixed that. I th I think well, they fixed. Servitors... They, they fixed. They should have fixed. The... You wanna know how they? F it seems like how they fix it is just by removing the servitors. Oh wait, hold on. I might not have done the thing to get the servitors back yet. Oh, that's why they're not there. Yeah. Uh, next time. Are the servitors still plagued? Who knows? Uh, and how bad can we fuck up footfalls? We'll find out. Bye bye. And everyone on my stream, thank you very much for watching and have a fabulous day, everybody. Bye.